I hate puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened. It's time to throw the pigskin. Ew. <laughs> that did sound gross. God, when he says it, it sounds really gross. It sounds like something... Uh, sounds like some slang we're not hit to. It sounds like Buffalo Bill would have said that in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Come on, come on time to play the pigskin. <laughs> <laughs> come on down. <laughs> Puts the lotion in the basket or he gets the hose. That's all I'm hearing. It's time to play the pigskin. <laughs> Oh, you doing with the great big fat girl? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House. Apparently, we've got Buffalo Bill here. Creepy. Creepy. We're also joined by, uh, by a guest tonight. we got the Abacus in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, man. Good to see you. No doubt. For those that don't know what you're listening to, I don't know how the hell you found <laughs> us. But now here you are. You're listening to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems and helping you find out what beer you should be drinking or avoiding this weekend i got a funny feeling the beer this week is going to be in a void yes <laughs> just just have a feeling. based on the logic going into the label and naming <laughs> Stu pick this one up an ode to pat it's an ode to pat beer an ode to pat yes haven't seen pat in a while miss old pat al do you know pat lives right around the corner <laughs> I do, well i've heard that but of course the closer he moves the less we see of him you sure, so. sure it's not a curve it is odd yeah, maybe he oh, can't I get see. up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a straight shot, he can't get there. Yeah, it's no. over the horizon. Yeah. yeah, He's he's literally just around the corner, I found out the other day. The other, and I found a way to get to his house uh, without any main oh, roads. Oh, it's that close. Well, yeah, I figured it out. I was riding the old electric skateboard, and I, yeah. went, I went into the next neighborhood, and then I wound my way to the back, and then I found a cut through that's like an easement to railroad tracks which I could then walk across into an apartment complex and then go through that apartment complex and pop into Pat's neighborhood. Nice. Yes. Huh. So, And you still won't see him. No, but I'm going to make him aware of this now that <laughs> football's back. Well, I'm sure he'll hear it on the podcast. Oh, yeah, of course. You would think, but I don't even know if he listens anymore. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. It's, it's, he's an OG. He's Dude, he's the OG. <laughs> he's the G of the OG. Yeah, no one was here before Pat and I. And then Pat Y'all keep giving him all that credit, and I don't think he deserves it. Well, he made it four episodes before <laughs> anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> this has been only easy. because, only only because I didn't oh. know about it. Yeah, because I, I, I waited till I had four episodes in no. the can, and I go, all right, guys, I've been able to do four weeks, and I released them all, and then I, you I, showed up. No, I, was, I think I was on episode three. Like, I was on... You might have been, but I didn't release an episode yes, until I had four I, in I remember the can. that. Because I was like, if I can't get through four... That I'm not doing. Y'all did one or two without me, and then I and then I jumped in. They're gems, <laughs> <laughs> gems of episodes too. Let me tell yeah. you. Yeah, I think one of the first ones has like a disclaimer on it, like don't start listening until five minutes yeah, in like or something. One like mic that. wasn't on or something. <laughs> Quite literally, which is yeah. why I released four at once. Yeah, because yeah, it was it was me talking for the first five minutes and and Pat responding into a mic that wasn't on. <laughs> Which is actually probably the best way he should respond. In a nutshell, it, it, it kind of is the podcast on the whole. <laughs> you know, like me having technical errors. Hell, I started tonight with yet another technical error. Nobody would have known. You were so smooth there. See, this, Troy, this is, this is why I love you, man. <laughs> you got my back. That's right. Helping me out. Helping me out because I am not a producer. Best producer I've ever worked with. That adds up. <laughs> <laughs> that does add up. Well, what about, did you have anybody helping you out in the old old uh, roller rink days when you were the nope, DJ? I did it all. I did it all. So you're saying I'm a better producer than you were? Well, I didn't produce. I just yeah. push buttons around like you. That's producing. Well, there's a lot less uh, to go wrong. The worst thing that would happen with when I was DJing at the skating rink, you would either leave the mic on and somebody come in and talk to you, but that usually wasn't too bad. But the worst thing, because this is back when, when I was playing records and CDs, and we would get, like, these CDs, and they weren't all radio versions. So, like, you'd want to play, like, oh, a drop song. Oh, dropping F-bombs yeah, right like, to the 10-year-olds. Yeah, like, there'd be, like, a Saturday morning session was, like, the family session, and you didn't want to, like, I mean, the song might not have an F-bomb in it, but, like, might say shit or damn or something, and you could, like, quickly edit it 
out, you know, yeah. on the on the live. But if you got busy looking for another record or something or somebody was talking to you and then that came through, you felt like a jerk. I can see that. So you, I mean, you had to have a pretty in-depth knowledge of everything you were playing. Then. Yeah, we did because everything was analog. So it was like you had to know where the CDs were. You had to know what songs were on CDs because we would like play, pay some royalties to get like top 40 CDs and each CD would have, you know, 20 rando songs from whatever year it was. And you'd be like, oh, it's on CD because 42 is track number six, you know, and you'd have to. You'd have to remember where it was, and you'd have to know, like, oh, and two minutes into this song, there's a there's a dam that you might want to edit out or something. <laughs> <Don't button. laughs> so yeah, it was. Uh, you had to know a lot more. Now everything's you know digital. Digitized, yeah. Hey, you just hit I the wouldn't button. even know what to do now. Like, yeah, and Brendan still fucks it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hold on. laughs> See, no. we heard. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I got buttons. <laughs> I got buttons right here. I can do things. Yes, the soundboard's back. I love it. <laughs> Happy for that. Okay, yeah, as a listener, when the soundboard made its glorious return, were you excited? It was a pleasant return. Good. You haven't overdone it, which is nice. No, oh, I will. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'd like some listener feedback on? We used to do a lot of reviews. Yes. Well, yeah, reviews. That would be nice. <laughs> I've given up that one. <laughs> Troy's getting mad. <laughs> it's coming well, so early. <laughs> I'd like to know, like, we used to have rando guests, you know, one-offs, and maybe they come back twice. Like, do people still want that? Like, did anybody like those? I liked them when we were doing them. Well, it certainly we makes it easier. fell off. You know, when a guest comes on, they you just ask questions and sit back in the cut. It's beautiful. Yeah. Always enjoyed that. Well, you know what I've seen popping up, which I think we should have him back on, is Spirit of Halloween guy. Ray, oh, yeah. Ray's Ray's, a, Ray's, Ray should be, be coming back soon. Ray's popular, yeah. I see him. They're starting to put their signs up. It's around the corner. Yep. We can get him back And on. I'd like to ask him about what happened with the election. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still TBD, right? I guess. <laughs> they're still working it out. Like, I'm, I'm under the impression that uh, it was stolen or something? Well, they called me to come count some stuff, and I was going to work through it, and it's really. Did you hook that up? Big numbers, man. <laughs> yeah. So many. One, two, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, that was the problem. The abacus was in charge of the votes. There you go. It's brutal. That checks out. Brutal. Oh, I've got a business idea. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. The Church of ITPH. Okay. Okay. I think we need to do this. I think we need to set ourselves up as a church because... Sounds culty. Mm, not, not culty. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't care where people stand on, like, the, we got we got the whole mix of vaccine, not vaccine. Yeah. Like, people don't want to do it. People do want to do it. I don't care. I've always been kind of, do what you got to do. It's your body. I don't give a shit. I'm going to get a vaccine because <laughs> I'm, I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I also don't care if you don't, right? Yeah. Like, like so yeah. Stu, I don't care. Yeah, good for you. you. Enjoy yourself. But so... Now they're like mandating vaccines if your company's got over a hundred people. Like I oh, just they, saw this come down. Are they allowing religious they're exemptions? Re yes. Yeah. They're allowing religious exemptions. What year is it? We're still doing this? Yes, but look at think of this, okay? If you get qualified as an actual religion, right, and we're running it, then everything we do is tax exempt. I like that. No, I like that person. idea. Right. Right? Yeah. So one of our tenants can be that you can't be forced to get a vaccine. Yeah. Now, I don't personally, but but look, there's money to for be a made. Fee. Yeah, for there's a fee. There's money to be made. Yeah. You just have to adhere to our religion. Now, our Tied religion's... Tie us 10% of your income and we'll allow Our yeah. religion's yeah. very simple. It's $100 a year. <laughs> 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 that's simple. Then you can... You, you're, you're letting them off easy. I was about to say. <laughs> and because well, that's we, for the lowest level. This okay. is going to be okay. a lot like yeah, Scientology. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. write this up. Would you say yeah. it's almost like yeah, a pyramid? Like they get <laughs> almost like similar, <laughs> not exactly because we'd be a five hundred one three C. It's a tax write off for everybody that joins. See, hundred bucks go away, and now we can put in our tenants that you could get it, but you can religiously also be exempt. Like we'll make it a little loosey goosey, but if you're of this branch of our religion, that one is particularly like stringent about about vaccines. Yeah, and that will just be a special offshoot branch. We'll call it the stew branch. There we go. <laughs> You know, so you'll be the 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 palace of ITPH, whatever yeah. we want to call yeah. it. We set ourselves up as religion. We can all get minister status. Yeah, we'll write it up like Scientology. I I would I love writing science fiction stuff. <laughs> so like we'll do it just you like you can't go wrong. Give me a second before the podcast is over. We'll all be ministers. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so online. And, then, so, and, and so one of them would be the, the branch of stew. And if you're a big believer of that, then it's against it's against those rules. You can't get vaccines. So then they can go, oh, no, I'm, I'm practicing the church of ITPH. Yeah. I'm a stew Davidian. <laughs> I would have like the way too much that. thought. You know, but whatever okay. it is. There's not too much thought. This is pretty loosey goosey. I literally Shoot came from up the hip here, boys. I literally came up with this two hours ago. My wife was like, You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, that doesn't I sound did. like her. She'll say that until the money starts rolling in. Well, that's and she's right. Right. but that's what I said. I said, Yeah, wait till you tell the tell your employer that you no longer need to take taxes out because I donate all of my money yeah. to this particular <laughs> Yeah, I think there's there's loopholes here, but we could all this money be tax free. How are we in 2021, and you can say I don't want to take the vaccine for my own whatever reasons, and they go, "No, we won't allow that." And then you just go, "Okay, I don't want to take the vaccine because of my religious beliefs," and then they go, "Well, okay, now you're back in." Yeah. Boom! This is I great. just don't understand the logic behind this. I don't. Well, the logic that's the, that's is the whole irrelevant. separation of state and church in the Constitution. That's right. See, Stu gets it. <laughs> Again, logic. Well, if you're a Stu Davidian, <laughs> it's, it's a branch. <laughs> He's laying yeah. the groundwork here. It's He's a branch of of I, the ITPH religion. There we go. I'm there's in, the, I'm in. There's I four mean. branches. The ITPH. Okay, I'm willing to go down. We, the, we we're spitballing, Stu. Yeah. I'm, good with this. I'm good with this. We're spitballing the religion. But I just, the idea of having a tax shelter in my name sounds really good. And then, you know, like, what if down the road I want to go absolutely crazy and, like, have a cult? I'm already, like, established. Yeah, you're already yeah. halfway there. Yeah, I've already got paying members. Brendan, you wear a lot of robes lately. <laughs> yeah. Now, and you should be, too. <laughs> Otherwise, you're out. Brother yeah. Troy, I see you're out of yeah, uniform. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Like, this could be great. And then we treat it like Scientology. We're like, you work your way up. Like, the more you pay, the, the, <coughs> the, pay. Higher, up, the <laughs> higher up you get. Oh, work. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Work. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can just be a member for a mere $100 a year. Yeah. But if you want to be a Stu Davidian, if you yeah. want us to start writing the letters to the government for That's you. Right. Yeah. This could be good. We'll come here every Sunday. We'll watch football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we only meet on football Sundays. Yeah, we don't They're, yeah, we don't have to meet the <laughs> Those are the high yeah. holy <laughs> days of our uh we of can, our we can somewhere do. between seventeen and twenty two weeks. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> right, right, right. We don't ask a lot. No. Yeah. We could get do the summers off. A lot of people don't go to church that many times a year. That's true. We, there'll be an <laughs> online component. Yeah. This will be, <laughs> look, this is, look, this is going to be loosey-goosey hey, at best. We're well, the all watching the Bears game this week, so if you can't make it in, just watch from home, and it's like you're there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Troy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like this angle. Just make sure your check's in the mail on time. Exactly. This, is, this we, is good. We accept PayPal, Venmo. But we will literally make branches – for anything that you're against, and we'll write it into the tenets of that branch, and then you will officially be part of a religion that says, I don't believe in X. I don't care yeah. what X is. I'm willing to. Uh, and it's also, it could be the letter X. Psh, we, Done. Yeah. X Davidians <laughs> hate the letter X. <laughs> I mean, you hardly use it anyway. Get rid of it. Yeah. I think this is a good idea. I, I, I'm still noodling it, I got to figure it out. But yeah, if, we're spitballing here. But I figure if I create the religion, then I can kind of start do what I want, right? First world problems. Yeah, we'll all Solving. get we'll all get ordained. <laughs> yeah, how's that coming? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> it costs more than hundred bucks to get ordained. Damn. All right, <laughs> Are we yearly <laughs> fees which went up. <laughs> I'm not worried about. It. I'm just saying we can create a safe haven. We we'll can do weddings. Things. I'm into that part. Fuck yeah, we can do weddings. Yeah. And then I really be, do want to be ordained. I want that to would do, be do fun. some weddings. Yeah. So I actually looked into getting ordained at one time. Because Did somebody ask you to? Sean at Nectar Sunglasses yeah. was like, hey, man, I want you to, to marry us. And I was like, all right, let me look into it. So I started looking into the process. It's a big ask. Well, then I think he talked to his wife. <laughs> 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 because the next time I brought it up, I was like, hey, man, I've been looking into it. I was like, I think I can get it done in time for the wedding. I just got to do X and Y. And he's like, oh, whoa, 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 don't, don't go whoa, through all that. I, yeah. I, I talked to the wife. She uh, she's got someone who's like real, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wasn't even offended because I was like, all right, thank goodness. Yeah, one yeah. last thing. Yeah, that I have to do. But it would have been kind of cool. That would have been cool. Yeah, that's, I think that's on my like one of my bucket list items. Is you ever been a best man? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have never been a best man. I've been, I can't even, I've probably been in a dozen weddings. I've never been a best man. Was it always a bridesmaid, yeah. never a bride? Yeah. But. And I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It hurts. It hurts. Troy, Troy's got a whole closet of tuxedos. <laughs> I thought, I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was, I had some good friends, but I guess for whatever reason, parents or brothers or I tell you other what, people beat me out. In my next marriage, I got you. Yes. I got you. Uh, yes. <laughs> There we go. Now, things are going great, so yeah. I don't know how yeah, long yeah, this yeah. is going to be. Like, I don't plan on going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just chalk you up. Well, that's I'm going to count as like a half of a best man. There you go. So I'm on my way. And, in fact, the only one that I ever got asked to really be the best man. Well, no, I guess I was, I was, I think I was my brother's best man. But that, it's not, a, it's a little different. It is. Like, I didn't even give the yeah. speech. Yeah. I mean, my dad gave the speech. Yeah. But uh, young Jimmy had me, and then he ended up getting married, like, in an offshoot. Like, he went to the courthouse and got married. Oh, so, so he, like, then there was no ceremony? So there was a big party. Yeah. And so I got to do my, my duties <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. So I did get to give a speech, and I thought, man, that was a good speech. I've never, been, I've never been a best man, but I was in a wedding as a groomsman, stood on the groom's side. Invited by the bride. Hold on, you were so you were closer with the bride than you were with the groom. Yeah, yeah. that guy. I never, I never, I never met the guy until because this was in Louisiana. I was that dude here. is a cuck. <laughs> 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 because if my wife tried to pull some bullshit on me like that, I'd be like, uh, "That's a negative Ghost Rider. I'm not having yeah. your dude friend." Be well, if you don't have enough guys, then, then you're a loser. No, but I'm. Uh, okay. But there's well, there's not there's not a minimum. You could have one and it or never two. Usually, like it doesn't have to be equal yeah. on the numbers. I mean, I've been to plenty of weddings or in plenty of weddings where actually the bridesmaids usually will outnumber the groomsmen. Yeah, actually, I I think in my group it's always like the guys have too many, and then the women. Yeah, can. I had to like, mm -hmm. I could have easily had way more than I did, but I didn't want to have that wedding picture where it was like eight or ten on each side. I was like, that is ridiculous. I ended up doing two ushers. Yeah. Yeah, like which was which is great because the groomsmen can just stay in the back and get drunk, and like <laughs> Till the very last. The night. ushers have to get to yeah. work. Yeah, you know, but like that's because I I couldn't I couldn't narrow it down. I was like, well, this is my group. I was lucky. My we were re and we were married in the, with a Jewish ceremony. So my father, both sets of parents are in that ceremony. Okay, just as like they just stand up there with you, so you don't really have to ask them to be like part of the wedding and i wasn't really like wanting to make my mom or dad like be a big like my mom would love to have knocked my future bride out of the way and make it all about herself and my dad we're not we're not that close that's what most moms do during weddings right i mean they're like <laughs> they want they all want to put their, their own stink on it exactly yeah. they okay that's a good way to put it i yeah. think that's very romantic and they want to put their stink on yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair and my dad and i aren't that close so i was like nah. I'd rather have my buddies up there, but like I kind of, he is my dad, like you know. But yeah. I was like, congratulations, dad, you get to be. But then like, the weirdest thing was, my mom was dating this dude for like a minute, and we when we got when we got married, my groomsmen and me and my father and father in law, for, I said we're all wearing matching suits and ties and shirts. That's what I want. That's the look I want. Not rented tuxes. I don't want to stand out. I want all of us to be wearing the same thing. So my mom calls me. My mom's like, hey, where'd you get your suits? And I was like, it's wherever I bought them. Why? Men's warehouse. Yeah. I think it might have been men's warehouse. I was That's like, the easy money, dude. I was like, yeah. uh, why? She's like, oh, my, uh, you know, my, my boyfriend. you get the same suit. Is, I was like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> I was well, like, uh, this dude is not going to be in my wedding. Much less my wedding picture. Of course, they lasted less than a year. I'm like, that dude could have been in every picture. Like, yeah, all even if he's standing your, all in, around your house, just yeah, nothing but yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> for, that's a that's a good pro tip though for like guys who aren't married yet. Have your groomsmen buy all the same suit. Yes, and get a suit that can easily be used again. Like, yeah. yep. put them all in gray suits. Yeah. If you want to put them in black suits, put them all in black suits. Yeah. But it's gonna cost us. Two hundred some dollars yep. to rent a suit. Well, you can buy a suit for two hundred dollars. I bought. Yeah. We yeah. we did like, like a brown with uh, light blue shirts and brown ties, and the suits 
since we bought like six or eight of them, the guy, like I knew the guy that was working in men's warehouse or whatever, and he got them for like 200 bucks a pop. So I bought, as part of the waiting gifts, I bought everybody's shirts and everybody's ties. That's it. That's perfect. And then like all my buddies were like, man, I've, wearing, I've worn that suit like yeah. a bunch of times. It's a very helpful yeah. way to, to do it. Yeah, one of my buddies was a lawyer and literally wore that thing for like 10 years till it was like threadbare and had to throw it out. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, how much better is that than renting a yeah. stupid ass one-time tux? And yeah. then you have to take it back. Yep. You got to go through all that headache. Guys. Pro tip. Just... Get them to buy suits. Go, yeah. hey, I found a great deal on a suit, and we get a better deal if we buy Most six of them. Most guys need another suit anyway. Everybody needs to, I've yeah. got I've got multiple gray suits in my closet now from yeah. weddings, and I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Because I can wear them all the time. And as I got fatter, weird. <laughs> got it. The suit Size jackets. Up. Well, yeah. the suit jackets just became sport coats. Yeah. yeah. Which is go. still <laughs> super helpful. Yeah. And I mean, then the pants. You always need that. Yeah. Always. So one of my favorite suits for years was one that I had to buy for a friend's wedding. And at the time, I was, I was like 24. I was pissed off about it. I had to buy a suit or whatever else, and I wore it for the next six, seven years. Like, yeah. And you would have spent my suit. that much money on a crappy rental. Yeah. Yep. That wouldn't have fit well, wouldn't have looked well. You would have no. like lost a cuff link and owed him an extra $50 <laughs> the next day, and you're like, wait, yeah. what? Just here's the suit. Yeah. Go get fitted. Yeah. Now I, you own it. I yeah. definitely am a big fan of that. That's that's definitely the way to do it. There we go. Solved a first world problem. Actually <laughs> <Boom>. fulfilled <laughs> the obligation of the podcast. So you, you were good for the year then. Uh, for the week at least. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think if we can solve one a month, it's, well, a good, it's good to have dreams. It's did y'all get a bunch, since we're on the wedding kick, did y'all get like a bunch of like flasks and like as gifts? Oh yeah, I've got more flasks yeah. and knives from being yep. in weddings. But honestly, I don't mind flasks and knives. Yeah. Like that's a that's a good one. I'll, I think I'll take it. I I don't know this for certain, but I feel like groomsmen gifts has have kind of fallen off from be, from popularity maybe, because um, I I don't think I really had anything for any of the weddings I've been in. I'm okay with that. Really, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I gave flasks. They were cheap yeah. flasks. I was like, well. To me, they were super expensive at yeah, the time, yeah. but in yeah. retrospect, that was a cheap flash. Well, they're expensive <laughs> when I got you're a buying a dozen of them or something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, Stu, do you remember what you gave out as groomsmen gifts? I can't recall. Um, that's what I'm racking my brain, but there's only three of you guys. I mean, my dad and two. two I, see. I feel like there were gifts because I remember yeah. it was one of my first weddings and it being like, I got something. Yeah, I, I, I think like, I did. Psyched golly. about that after uh, you sold out however much for. Yeah, <laughs> I want to say they were glasses. Yeah. I want to say they were glasses because I think prescription sunglasses. Yeah, <laughs> I still can't see them. <laughs> yeah, His I mean, I, I, I think the I think the yeah. suit thing is something that's more a little bit. Well, I don't know. How long have you been married for? Fourteen, a little over fourteen yeah, years. No, I guess it's just I was. I mean, I just tuxedos just kind of came into play, and that's what I went with. I didn't even think about it. Like we all had the stupid tuxes, and then yeah. I ended up getting get, telling the ushers, "I was like, hey, here's the suits." And I was like, "Man, that was a much better play. Like we all should have done that." Yeah. And then I've, I've told everybody I'm in their wedding since then. I was like, "Hey, are we gonna get to buy suits, or do we have to rent a tux?" Well, I've been in a, yeah. a bunch of weddings before my own, and I'd done the tux and the suit thing, and I was like, "Oh, these tuxes aren't cheap." Like they're no. legit expensive. They're still like, spending two hundred. And bucks. I bought one or two suits before them. I'm like, that's not a big difference. Like, I'd rather just come out of pocket. Like, yeah, you're twenty dollars more yeah. now. You have a suit forever. Yeah. But what's funny is like I know people that uh, a little bit older than me are the same age that when they were in their early twenties, people getting married bought a tux, and all yeah. they did was end up changing out the bow tie if they needed it. I always remember like in fraternities going to like formals and stuff, thinking, man, I need a black tux, and then. Yeah. <laughs> you never wear a tux after you get a tux. Like no, just buy a good yeah. black suit. Yeah, and you can, you can do it up. Yeah, I had a, a friend's wedding two summers ago. I guess it was now that it was black tie optional, and I didn't have a tux. So I was like, ah, this would be a good time for to go ahead and get one. And I got a pretty good deal on it, but it's been worn the one time so yeah. far. So the one thing that yep. I've never had to buy that I've used every single wedding Condom. that I was in. <laughs> Condom. Yeah, that happens. Um, is my patent leathers from the navy. They oh, came in wow. perfect. Oh, really? I've had oh, yeah, I've those worn those pair of shoes, like because that's the same as a tux. Or if you're yeah. wearing it with a suit and you can wear black, yeah, yeah, you step it up. Just wear them all the time. That's those have paid dividends. Hell yeah! Another pro tip: join the navy and you get, get a free shoes. pair of shoes <laughs> for wedding. <laughs> for all of your troubles. You'll right, save yeah. your sixty-five to eighty-five dollars. Real nice. Yeah. Hold on, you're going to pay me and give me shoes <laughs> for oh, just a four-year commitment? <laughs> Sign me <laughs> up. Yeah. Now, 
Now's in your time. sweet Dickie jacket. Yeah, well, that Let's might be worth that. it. <laughs> That's right. Dickie it's jacket. Priceless. I'm actually pretty psyched that we're getting into Dickie's weather. I was yeah, thinking about are. that the other day. I was uh, like, oh, I get to wear the jacket again. I saw a commercial for the Dickie's jacket the other day. I heard it, something, and I thought of you two knuckleheads. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is fantastic. I don't care yeah. what anybody says. I love that jacket. Getting deals. I was not mechanic. ready for the fall weather <laughs> until this past weekend, and it cooled off and the humidity went away. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. maybe I am ready for this. Yep. This, is, this is real nice. All about the Dickies and the pumpkin spice for Brent. No, fuck that. You can, <laughs> the pumpkin spice shit is ridiculous. I don't know, dude. Do you see what, what is it? Bud Light Seltzer has a pumpkin I spice? I sent you the picture of it. Yeah, We're that's crazy. That shit. I got to get my hands on some pumpkin spice seltzer. I don't oh. care. Like, that sounds amazing to me. I don't care. I don't care how much of a basic bitch I am. Pumpkin spice is tasty. I was at a food lion earlier today. No, a Walmart yesterday or food lion there. I forget which one. And it must have been Walmart. And a lady was checking out with a ton of Halloween stuff. Like already. Already. Huh. She's like giving out de- stale de- Snickers? No, not candy, but like fake pumpkins and scarecrows Just and like all, all the, the decor. decor. Yeah. The fall. Yep. Any decals? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see any decals. Deca- decals, hmm. huh? <laughs> yeah, I saw some stickers, some windows, yeah. some window cleans. Yeah. Those, those things are great. <laughs> so it's decals. <laughs> you get it? I guess. I guess. I didn't realize that's a callback from before the show. Apparently, I say uh, decal funny. Or decal, <laughs> as you guys say, or yeah. something. Yeah, we're so we're so weird. You are weird. I want to get some decals for my truck. Yeah, those are the stickers that go on the side. <laughs> I don't. I didn't realize. I, you need this, to put a pole up. Is it the cows <laughs> or decals? How are you going to put that pole up? We just do the phonetic spelling yeah. of it. You're a tomato guy, aren't you? It's tomatoes, too. <laughs> I don't. I still you don't see what's so idiot. funny. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know anything? Jeez, aggressive around here. Man. Oh, you know what else is aggressive? This was horrible. Did any of y'all, and you may know a little something about this, because this might go into your, your world. Pointing there, at the abacus. abacus. Okay. Yeah. yeah, break the fourth <laughs> Well, I was saying, I was saying, okay. I was okay. saying, I said abacus. I realized what I was doing as yeah, soon as the yeah. finger went up. I was like, good pod. <laughs> I got hit with them freaking army worms. Oh. I heard about this. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went away. It was It was two weeks ago now. And I went, I went away on Thursday morning for work and I walked out and my yard was fantastic. Like looked, looked great. I was, in fact, I was even thinking, you know, the yard actually has has come in pretty well this year. Like I'm doing all right as we head into fall. This is good. This will be the first year I don't have to completely seed and then watch every guy come over for football and just slowly destroy the seed and every dog. Yeah. And it's like, I was like, Hey, I think I may have finally crossed over. And then I leave on Thursday. I come back late Friday night, so I don't wake up till Saturday where I can actually see the yard. And I look outside, and there are massive sections of my yard that were just either like like black and curled over or just bare, like just oh, flat wow. out bare. That's wild. And I was like, "What the what the hell happened?" I'm outside. I'm Start looking, beating the shit out of two dogs. <laughs> yeah, just just started killing dogs. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm so frustrated. Little one around. And I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm like, how does this happen? Like the whole yard just died. And I was like, it hasn't been that hot. Like I thought it was drought. I thought drought must have just killed everything. And as I'm trying to figure this out, I I had to dump out the coolers. So. I'm dumping out the coolers just outside the, the pallet house. The coolers yep. just outside <laughs> the pallet house here. And as the puddle formed, like dozens of these damn worms came up out of the ground, these little caterpillars, and started creeping all over the place. And I'm like, what the hell? So then I walked out across the yard and I started noticing in all the barren spots were tons of these caterpillars. So I took a picture of one, did the Google lens, and it was like, that's an army worm. I was like, okay, army worm. And then Googled that. And then they're like, oh, yeah, army worms are like ravaging the Richmond area and, and a lot of the southeast. And yeah, far more north than they normally come, apparently. Thanks, global warming. <laughs> so I got crushed. And then so I started talking to some other people about it. And I was like, yeah, I got hit with army worms. And then they started sending me pictures. I got off easy yeah. compared to some of these people. One guy showed me a picture that remember uh, Jimmy the Fisherman? Yeah. Yep. 
he got that red drum, drum cum all over yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> he loves that drum <laughs> cum. So he sent me like a video of his fence, and his whole fence was crawling with them, Holy like the shit. whole length of the yard. I was like, dang. And then the next day, it was just sawdust. Yeah, and it was that quick. <laughs> it was like literally thirty six hours. The whole thing was decimated, and then I got like this swarm of birds. Like it, lo- oh, it looked yeah. like a Feast. horror film. Like I looked nice. outside, and it was just birds everywhere, and then they were gone. Like the birds that's, came that's in. That's good, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but a little late, but yeah. I appreciate the assist. Like, yeah. they got through most of it. But so, I assume, Abacus, in your line of work, you deal with some of these things, or did do you not? Not really, but uh, just the other good week. Good lead. I was, <laughs> <laughs> Way to go But I was it. just reading and, and learning about it, and, and they talk about they can lay, like, thousands of eggs in, in an hour. I mean, it's just ridiculous how quickly they can populate and how quickly, like you said, they can completely decimate a yard. It I mean, in bad. 12 to 24 hours, and you're talking about your yard being munched up and gone. Like That's crazy. That's wild. And, you know, the crazy. I had, I had a ton of clover out here, too. That's always been something I've, yeah. I've dealt with. They ate all the clover. Well, that's good. It was good, but so I had, like, a mix of grass and clover, and now this week – the clover's like, ah, nice try, Army Worms. So they're all coming back. Yeah. So the clover's going to win now. So I'm humped. Yeah. So well, I kind of, I heard, I had heard about this, and I kind of prepared my yard for it. Five years ago, I stopped doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> there you go. My yard looks, <laughs> my yard looks like total shit. So now I'll just be like, you know those Army Worms. Jay, you're over here playing the fucking so you'd 3D heard chess. Them. That's right. <laughs> you'd so heard of them before this. No, like literally a week or two ago, <laughs> somebody mentioned Army Worms and how they're... I'd never heard of it. I'd like never heard of it. I guess I was hanging out with some of the neighborhood dads or somebody was like, Army Worms. I was like, what the fuck's an Army Worm? And, then we pulled, and I was like, I, pu- I did exactly what you did. Pulled it up. It's like, it's a fucking weird looking caterpillar. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, it's killing yards everywhere. And I'm like, my yard looks like shit, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. <laughs> Well played. Yeah, because yeah, they're actually, to this point, they're caterpillars. And they because of the drought, they are saying because of the drought and the down south, the moths that they are are flying further north to eat. Oh, we're getting weird. But, all right, so I saw a moth in my screened-in porch the other day, and it looked like a fighter jet. Like, it was so sleek and awesome looking. I was like, what is this? So I took a picture of it. Did the Google Lens again? Murder oh, yeah. moth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's some it's some coast. Get Rican. out of your house now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a Costa Rican moth that has been slowly slowly migrating north. Oh, and now we got them in Richmond. I'm like, you know, Costa Rica is like basically near the equator. Yeah. So it's getting hot enough now that we're getting Costa Rican fighter jet moths. That's not like, the technical name. I bet a Tico <laughs> lives here. Hmm. Fighter jet. Yeah. Oh, I smell Tico. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay here. I'm welcome here. Yeah. One of like my cat. home. But we're going to start getting some new ass bugs. Yeah. Obviously, we got army worms eating lawns. I got fighter jet looking moths. It's all going to pot. So they're in my line of work there has been a lot of discussion of uh places like the the mall in dc like the washington uh yeah yeah where all the memorials are and even all as far up to like central park as global warming starts uh kind of endangering some of those native trees and plants that are in those areas they're gonna have to replace them with things so they've now started pre-act or uh, proactively grabbing more southerly plants and just replacing them now slowly on a rolling basis because I mean, there's there's nothing to, to you telling stop me I'm it. gonna be able to have palm trees in my yard soon because I like the sound of that. <laughs> you legit can. <laughs> you just gotta bag them when it freezes. Yeah, you put them on a south facing wall and they'll yeah. be great. But the palm trees, but you can't have pine trees anymore. So it's like you're gonna have to. Good, this, the pine trees in my yard are wrecking it. I have faith that the gumball trees. Oh, they'll we'll persevere. Forever. They yeah, always okay. do. They'll they'll make it. They're a native son. <laughs> they're not they, going anywhere. <laughs> they are nice and strong. The roots run deep on those. So none of you guys got hit with army worms. I might have. I mean, my, I haven't really paid attention in my backyard. You just lately. you just knew you didn't have to mow. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I, ha- I have mowed the past couple of weeks. Like it's still mostly green. So my front yard's pretty barren. I got a lot of roots that have come to the surface on the trees in the front yard. I need like two trucks of topsoil probably before they topple. Yeah. I have I have zero grass. I have an acre and a half of mulch, and the back half is just woods with cover. So you guys didn't get zero hit. Grass. Abacus, you didn't get hit? Well, now I'm worried I'm going to take him home with me. So I'm, I'm going to move <laughs> in and just <laughs> stay Fair on the street. Enough. He's going to get to the street and set his clothes on fire. <laughs> Don't worry, mine are all it. gone. The, the the bird swarm came through right. and, and decimated them, so I'm okay. But See, nature takes care of itself. It knows what it's doing. 
once they feasted and get fat, the birds sat in the trees and like, no, 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 wait, they're gonna get yeah. so fat. It's probably good. Way for slow and easy to eat. It's probably good for your yard. You that's probably what I was thinking. They're not slow yeah. enough yet. Let now you don't get slower. Have, yeah. Now you don't have to aerate. You can just treat your yard like you would every other fall. Well, the clover's coming in strong. Grr. Yeah, it's great. Seed it and <laughs> water it. Oh. <laughs> this is going great. Homer likes it. Man. Yes, he does. Yeah, I'm, I was I was pretty disappointed in how quick that went yeah. down. It was. It, it, if you depending on the size of your yard, 24 hours, 48 hours, gone. Fortunately, the birds got it before it got past. All they got was the part that I've had the hardest time with. Yeah, where everybody <laughs> walks, <laughs> and I've had to like I constantly seed. And you almost need to like move your fence back behind the uh, pallet house here and just continue the asphalt <laughs> all the way up. Because I mean. You just get this path just stomped in your yard yeah. every time. And it's not even just during football. It's worse during football, but it's constantly. Well, it's because I'm always walking out here. Yeah. I, I should have just. No, it's perfect where it is. It's, far, <laughs> it's the furthest spot from the house. I was like, no, I should not No, no, this is good. I like being far away from the house so I can be loud. Yes. It matters, especially in a house full of women. Oh, yeah. I got to have a little. They go to bed early. Oh, my gosh. So early. So early. Yeah. I just don't I don't I don't understand that. Like I don't know why why that that works. Like it seems like everybody gets married to someone who's got like a a totally different schedule. It's like I don't know anybody who's like, "Oh yeah, we stay up till exactly the same time." Yeah. It's always like something different. I don't know. <laughs> or you 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 might have that still. It's it's great when you can make your own hours. That's that's the key. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Sure that I mean, that but yeah. I mean, I'm I'm rolling afternoon and evenings for the most part and Girlfriend makes her own makes her own hours running the company. Must be nice. <laughs> now you still got to get up. Oh, get this! So first rule of problem solved: feeding the dogs. Bought automatic dog feeders. I don't even have to get up at six a.m. anymore. The thing goes off at six a.m. and six p.m. Half a cup each bowl done. Troy, you're talking earlier about that's people having too much money. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that shit is. Yeah, that is. How well, are your, how much is your sleep worth? Is your, well, it's worth a lot. <laughs> I want to know. Haven't How's had your it. dog's uh, weight loss going? Uh, I actually took it to the vet uh, just two weeks Speaking ago. Of self-feed. And they are down uh, over 18 pounds for one and 15 pounds for the other. So having started at 78 and 82, they're now at 62 and 64. What are they supposed to be, like 40 pounds? 48 to 55. Yeah. But they're not going to die. Those dogs were as brown <laughs> as they were <laughs> tall. <laughs> It, yeah. It's a journey. <laughs> so, it is. Should we should we crack a deli? Is it deli time? Well, it's a little early, but that's that story fizzled out. <laughs> 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 I didn't know where to go with it, so I just was like, "Let's." Uh, I'm actually surprised your dogs like don't figure out how to knock that shit over and get into it. Oh, it's a, like the container itself is just like a, you know how you'd have a free feeder, you know, just drops food down yeah. as they eat into it. Well, it's that same shape, the bowl. Um, but it's got a lock lid on it. They, uh, what? Dude, they, my dogs are actually pretty pretty intelligent in the fact that when it comes to food, they figure it out. Cause That's what I, I just put said. A, I put a pizza pizza in the warming drawer. I have a hard time getting the warming drawer open out of the stove. And these motherfuckers. Your dogs like to eat. Grabbed it, <laughs> destroyed the pizza. But, no, it's definitely, I mean, I hate getting up at, you know, 530. They start whimpering. It's feed us because they're on the 6 a.m. and the 6 p.m. feeding schedule. Yeah. <laughs> One third cup. With my dog, I make sure to feed him at random ass times. Yeah, so all day. Keep him every guessing. Day. Ah, so that's he smart. never knows. That's how my dog is. Like, show and up. some days, I, th- I don't think my. I think like some mornings and afternoons, my dog didn't even get that. Like yeah. everybody will be like, "Did you feed him?" No, I thought you were doing this. Like, well, now it's ten thirty at night. Yeah, so. see you in the morning. <laughs> that's smart because you put them on a routine, then they're like, "Hey, buddy, yeah. you're three minutes late." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just keep yeah. on guessing. Yeah. I like that. I do have a couple of friends that have dogs that are on specific schedules for everything, and yeah. it's, it can be brutal. That's why cats are so much better. Mm. I know it's not a popular opinion, but <laughs> cats dogs do are take such care a of themselves. Pain in the ass. I mean, that you're going to get a lot less out of a cat, but you're going to have to put in a lot less work too. It depends. I mean, That's it really depends dog. with your dog. Like some dogs don't even want to be around you. I'm just saying in general, like a cat is. You just don't get as much out of them, but they are so damn easy. Every cat yeah. I've ever had has been more affectionate than the dogs I've had. Usually when they want it, want something. Yeah. True. And that's how that's how cats roll. My new but all- they kill. I like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're burgers. productive members of your household. Heck yeah. <laughs> I, those army worms would not have made it with the cat. <laughs> Cat come in just fat just and so bloated. Dog, dogs are better. <laughs> dogs are better at letting you know if somebody's there, though, for the most part. Oh yeah, yeah. Cats are only good yeah. at letting you know they're there. Yeah, like on your face in the morning. Yeah, kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little frustrating. Stu, you grabbing those? Nice. So I'm I'm excited to try this beer. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, this knowing is its the, source material. The ode to pet. Yeah, well, I just don't know. I don't know anything about the brewery, but maybe when he hands it to me, I'll, I'll recognize the brewery. But when he showed it to me, all I know is it was called Flat Earth Beer. Well, Stu bought the uh, deli, so that's yeah. Awesome. So shout out to Stu. This is it's called Flat Earth, and it's by Dude. Masthead Brewing Company. Double is, IPA. Oh, that explains why it's called Flat Earth. It's from <laughs> Ohio, Cleveland. They don't know any better. <laughs> Brewed with an unbelievably stupid amount of hops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you save yeah. some for Ely? <laughs> yeah. Is this uh were you get, did you get this local? Uh yeah, this so this came out of the uh Vino market. Uh, okay. Hunter okay. over there who runs a show, he's got a pretty good thing going at getting in some different beers and uh from out, you know, stuff All that right. you don't get at Total Wine. Here we go. Okay, the abacus is laughing. It must so say something ma- funny on masthead, it. like Yeah, this is Masthead Brewing out of Cleveland. For and it's called Flat Earth. That those that don't know, one of the OG members of the uh, podcast is an honest to goodness flat earther. Yes, he is. He truly we, believes. We thought it was a joke at one time, and then uh, <laughs> I sat him aside one night, <laughs> and I I, I asked oh. him like straightforward. I was like, Nah, man, for real. Like, you don't believe the Earth is flat, and he's like, I don't understand how you can believe it's not. And I was like, Okay, I'd like to I'd like to engage in this conversation. And boy, howdy, did he have a lot of facts. <laughs> so have, have you seen the photo that uh, the, the astronaut posted uh, maybe like last week? Anyway, you guys are ruining the story. <laughs> <laughs> from the International Space Station? Yeah, well, like he's, it, he's in on it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's obviously. what I'm wondering. Like people who believe the flat Earth stuff, like when they see stuff like that, the mental gymnastics you have to do to like. Mental gymnastics? It's pretty straightforward. They just. It's flat. And they with the the pictures when you see they are round. What do they think? Like I I, I don't. Understand it's part that. of the conspiracy. So everything's photoshopped. Just everybody who's involved in NASA from the time that we faked the moon landing, all the way until now, they're all in on it. Okay. That's that's what's up. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to to play they, this. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah, Pat yeah. Al has <laughs> taken over your body now. I mean, he planted a seed. It's it's. Uh, I can tell you, if you want to be part of the Pat Davidians, <laughs> we four hundred dollars a year. We strongly believe that it's flat it Earth. It comes and, with free therapy. Yeah, and we will defend to the end your right to believe that the Earth is flat. I can totally agree. Understand why people used to think that. My whole thing with the flat Earth society thing is, to what end? Like, what's the government? The end big of the Earth, twi- dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what What's the gov? Like, what does the government? get out of faking the earth is round well is it the government faking it or is it just everybody just you know doesn't believe that there's any curvature there well i think then if, it's like i yeah, think if but you but talk to them it's the government like nasa yeah. and everybody's lying to us as a conspiracy but like most conspiracies have like a reason well i don't the understand the other reason. side of the flat earth is where they hide all the money and, okay and, well and that makes sense probably now i'm back in <laughs> Hmm. You, <laughs> you guys are making light of this. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> One of our branch religions fully yes, believes this. Exactly. God, the hops in this thing on the nose. Boy, are, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> even, it's an eight percent. I don't know if somebody uh, said that. There's. I might have missed it. No, uh, it's an eight percent. Every Woo. bit of it too. It's every boozy, huh? It. It's uh, strong. But the part I was chuckling at earlier, um, not typically something you want to see on on food or drinks that are being produced for you. We threw brewing science to the curb with this beer and added an unbelievably stupid amount of hops at every step of the process. Logic and reason need not apply. Just stop reading this. Believe us. Believe us that it's good and drink it already. Cheers. I like that. That's kind of a uh, play on the whole uh, yes. Yes. flat earth thing. Just go with it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just blindly believe. Yeah, I started looking it up, but I can't. I, I, I know that, that part of the argument has to do with. Something to the effect of, of if the Earth is round, then we'd it, all fall off. 
No, it just it implies that there may be a higher power and we're not the center of the universe. Mm. So, well, <laughs> OK, <laughs> I still have more questions. <laughs> I <under> <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're I know you're not the person to direct we, it to. We, so we, we need can Pat back on to uh, give a little give us a little lesson. But I do have a conspiracy theory that I think every parent can get behind. Ooh. So I think all right, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get this right though before I lose it cuz it's hard to get my brain okay. in this, this state. So drink more of this beer. If the, <laughs> if the earth is round and we're orbiting the sun, right? And the yeah. sun doesn't orbit us, then there's something beyond us, right? Yes. And that that thing would be would be God. Okay. Right. And or just or a belief science or or ITPH yeah. whatever deity we choose to which we haven't decided on yet yeah. so please send it in to inside the palace <laughs> at gmail.com and uh, maybe you can send it on your venmo uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah your dues we'll, we'll, we'll write we'll write you a letter yeah. the, the more, more you s- <laughs> the more you send in the more we'll take into consideration yes your and then we'll we'll whatever your cause yeah. is that you don't want we will get you a religious we're exemption out, we're out for high bids here we have helping a, people we have a branch that that believes what you believe whatever yes. that is <laughs> I, I think they're seriously <laughs> the more I'm drinking, the more I really <laughs> like the idea. <laughs> um, but I think some, it has something to do with if the if the Earth is round, then it and we orbit around the sun, then we're not in control as much. So you have to believe that there is a there is a God, there's a higher power of sorts, and that will help keep society in line. So you want people to believe that Earth is round and we're not the center of the universe, and there's a higher power. And that'll help keep people in line. So the all powerful people it keeps them as distracted, basically. Yes, and allows us to be like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't revolt. That would. So this is the government's way of keeping us in check. Yes. Okay. So the the counter argument to, to that would be, if it, the Earth was flat and the Sun revolved around us, we would be a wild, wild west. Though. We're the most important thing in the world. There is no higher power. And we'd lose say, our. So mor- you'd say we lose our moral. We lose compass. our moral compass, so we can rise up. I would say most people don't have. I mean, I feel like as I'm just. I know world, this is the moral. Co- the moral compass has dropped pretty far, because we're starting to figure out the Earth is flat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm. I'm not doing it, it all together, man. We yeah. need to get a true like. Like flat earther who gets it to really walk us. Through Would your this. moral compass change if you found out the Earth was flat? I don't. See and it. I was the center of the universe. Yeah. Then there is no, there's no harm in me doing whatever I want for me. This is the idea of the flat Earth. It's a disc with a ridge, and the moon just hovers magically above the pizza. That's what I, my follow-up question is. How does the <laughs> sun work on a flat Earth? The so yeah, the perimeter is the ice. That's why if you go north or south, you, you, don't, run hit, into you ice. don't hit the you you don't hit North Pole and South Pole. You hit the ring of ice around the perimeter. Look, I can't explain. And that's it. holding all the water in. Obviously, yeah. and yeah. then you have to worry about the White Walkers. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole another thing is Stu. It's a valid point. <laughs> I'm willing to give Stu one point for that White Walkers. <laughs> I would take one away. It sounds racist. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm willing to I'm, take one. I've never. So, s- it's a plus one and a minus one. I have no idea what he's talking about, so it just sounds racist. Oh, because you didn't watch Game of Thrones. No. Ah, you see, this is this is where you've let us down. <laughs> this one thing. This is it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if this is it. He's, he's doing great. <laughs> fine with that. I get yeah. to my uh, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Stu, if you if you if you were able to invest a few minutes into figuring out what the advantage is of a flat earth like why why would we have ever created this lie what is the end goal how does that and i think it has something to do with keeping society in line and you could you could explain that to us in a few minutes i just minutes. don't understand the more amazing. morality behind it like to me whether or not there's a god cuz i don't know if there's or not or whether or not the sun revolves around us or we revol- like my moral compass is my moral compass like yeah. How is that going to be impacted? Yeah, exactly, by that's my point. Like it's just it's it's the weird. shape of the planet upon yeah. which we live. I mean, it would just come down to if you buy into the philosophy that religion yeah. is a construct. I would say most of us are. In line. Yeah. I, I would say most <laughs> most of us are. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence rolled off the tongue. <laughs> in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> what you? I would said, say we're most. <laughs> no, yeah. we, most of us are narcissists anyway. <laughs> yes, that is where it's all falling apart. 
But this beer, the flat earth beer. Oh, yeah. man. Does anyone have an opinion on this yet as of, as of this point? Because I'm, I'm developing an opinion. I had an opinion on it before I tasted it, and then the taste just sealed it right in. I'll go first. Oh, you're running at it. I like it. All right. So impression on this guy. Immediately upon sniffing and tasting this beer, a scene from a movie popped in my head. And that oh, scene. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can you give us a hint? A hint of the movie? Because I want It's a comedy. It's a comedy. Yes. 80s? Uh, maybe 90s? Okay, 90s kid? Kid movie? No. Mm. I think it's PG-13. Okay. I'm, none, none of my guesses are, are added Okay. Up. Go ahead. You, you want me to go for it? Go for it. <laughs> I'm trying to get us in two guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I fizzled uh, out. And your two guesses were, was it this decade? <laughs> Jim Carrey's in it. Jim Carrey. Oh. He's, and he's driving a dog-shaped van down the road. Uh, dumb and yep. dumber. Yep. And he gets yep. pulled over. And the yep. cop thinks he's drinking beer. Okay. He's not drinking beer. Mm. No. <laughs> He's unloaded urine into about eight yeah. bottles. <laughs> yes. The cop wants to disprove him. <laughs> oh, this is so that cop is. takes a sip. <laughs> Ooh. That's what this beer makes me do. Oh, righty. Not the right yeah. movie, yeah. but Jim yeah. Carrey. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> Getting there. This beer does not taste good on my palate. It makes my mouth furry. It is extremely <laughs> boozy. Boy, this really is really buying into not the pet going shop. Well. It is. It is not good. I do not like this beer. Sam, I am. Yeah, <laughs> I would this not sound drink like a it. Doctor Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Doctor Seuss review. I would not drink it <laughs> in a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would not drink it in a moat. <laughs> That's right. Yes. This oh. is this is I a one. I do not like flat earth. <laughs> yeah, I do not like flat earth beer. <laughs> this is a one. I do not like a this. A one? Wow. wow, that is really low. Boom. Like, yeah. that is DKML low. Okay, then one and a half. It's not that bad, but it is. But that is that I is. I do not rough. like this beer. Wow. I mean, Troy two and a half in. is what I give average stuff. So, I mean, it's definitely not just below average at two. It's below that. So, it's got to be a one and a half. Okay, okay. I'm not. Sound I'm logic. not arguing with you. All of it added up. Furry mouth. Too much booze. <laughs> I appreciate, and I would have bought if I if I'd seen this like Stu, I would have bought it too. So absolutely, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad at the selection. It's just you know. So you'll say you'll give it a one, but the half point for the marketing. Then. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> okay. okay. Finally, <laughs> after a couple of years, it's rubbing off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the. Uh, ah. So one of the things that I noticed about this beer is I don't get the coating on the roof of my mouth like I do with some of the IPAs. Okay, okay. So I don't know if that's due to and uh, educate me. I mean, this is a double IPA. I don't know if that's going to change up or if it's the amount of alcohol that's in it being 8%. But I don't feel like I'm getting that thick coat on the roof of my mouth after I finish I have it. A, I have a theory. I think it's because you're working at a brewery now, and so you've kind of adapted to, to, yeah, to, I can see that. But like you've you've had so much, so many more you're different kinds of beers all the time now. That you're you're uh, that's an assumption that is actually incorrect because I'm still boy. <laughs> I'm still. You lost like, your job already? <laughs> yeah, they take some they, 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 <laughs> they fired me when those couple kegs of seltzers went missing. Yeah. That's <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I I see where Brendan's coming from because uh, yeah, I have tried every single beer that uh, Kendrick's putting out there, and I'm a little bit more educated to things but to say that i'm sitting there drinking more of one beer than another just because i'm at the brewery is no that's not the case no but i think his point was you're just drinking a lot of different you're being across, the board, across the board and you're being things. okay because like when i when i came and saw you a couple weeks ago you were like you were like oh i like this i like this and then i was sampling it and i was like eh, they're all you know okay but you these were beers you like that normally i don't think you would like i think you're kind of you i think you've broaden the palate. Yeah, you've kind of moved your palate from just seltzers and, and macro beers over to micro beers. I think you're kind of adjusting and upgrading your palate to that. Well, then, thank you, because, the, yeah, because I don't I don't know what this is and as far as why it's not giving me that coat. Um, I'll give it the full one, one and a half on the marketing because it did catch my <sighs> eye. Oh, these, this oh, beer is catching. He said one and a half on the marketing. Yeah, I mean, 
you're playing on people's, and especially, and we'll get to it. I've pulled up a couple of the items. Okay, where, so you would you, say why you it. should believe why people like to be flat earthers and the psychology behind it. But the marketing was kind of cool. Uh, it's throwing, you know, it's throwing something in people's belief and saying, hey, you know, this is flat earth. But at the same time. <laughs> Nobody believes flat earth for the most part, and this beer doesn't I think, follow through. I think a lot of microbrews can buy on marketing. I really do. I mean, we make fun of Stu, but, like, you get a good-looking name, good-looking label. Like, people will drink some dog piss yeah. if, if they like the name and the, and the label. And yeah, it's, there's there's truth so that. much stuff out there. When oh, you go yeah. to, like, a Total Wine or even a Kroger oh, yeah. or wherever else. I, mean, I, at, I just scan through now. They, yeah, they're like, like don't find something that... Jumps out, jumps out, and then I'll pick it up and look at it. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's like that's exactly how we all judge everything. Like immediately, you're like, I see that. Well, and and that was the whole. uh, Like we discovered when we did the the light lager challenge. I've been a Coors Light guy my whole life. Yeah, I apparently appealed to the marketing because when all of the marketing was pulled away, I'm a Miller Light guy, and that 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 was shocking to me. And it it took a lot for me to admit that I'm still a Coors Light guy for life. Yeah, but I will only buy Miller Lite. Well, I jumped out of <laughs> I jumped out of the Miller Lite game when they went to their new marketing. Then I jumped back in when they went back to the old school marketing. Like I'm definitely marketing. Yeah, yeah. it gets us. All right, so Stu, did you give it a final no, score? No, and I'm I'm torn because if I could give it a two point two five, I would. You can't, but I don't think it's. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we're making up numbers and letters, no, I know. I'm stuck between the two and a half and two. I really am. I'd give it an eleven to seventy. Eleven to seventy. There you go. Three. A three G. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a two and a half because I actually like the upfront flavor, but I, the the smell's not very great. But at the same time, it doesn't coat my mouth. Yeah, I love the marketing in there. So two you and a half from Milwaukee talkie. <laughs> Definitely a niner. All right, so we got a two and a half. We got a one and one, a half. And, a one half. and a half. I'm having a hard time hating or liking this beer, which leads me to believe I'm gonna land at a two and a half. But I, I'm not I'm not sure. So as I drink it, you're drinking it. I I I like how hoppy it is. I like that it has a little bit of like um, it's juicy. I'll give it juicy for sure. It doesn't and have any like it doesn't have any hints of anything in it. Like it's there's just, no citrus. Yeah, up there's front no citrus. Right there's no uh, there's no vanilla. There's no like it's just hot. It's just plain hops. This is this is and and that's what I don't like. It's not yeah. it's not giving me anything beyond just hops. In its defense, it also doesn't lay, it doesn't name out fourteen different flavor profiles that you never taste. Yeah. So, it just yeah. says hops. Yeah, it just says hops. Yeah, it just said this makes as much sense as yeah. flat yeah. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, to their credit, they did say just get away all from it sense. and go with go with the fact it's hops. Yeah. If this was this is all right, you know what? It's 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 coming down because this is one of the few examples where juicy's not working in its favor for me. It's it's very hoppy. It's overly hoppy. If it was brighter. I would actually give this like a two and a half to a three, but the juiciness here is muddying it. I don't know any other way to put it. It's muddying it for me. Because of that, I'm actually going to take it down to a two because I don't want anyone to think this is middle of the road. I think this is a bad good example yeah. of an IPA. I, that's, I, I know that's all contradicting statements, but so is the whole flat earth thing. That's a, <laughs> that's a two. I mean, I'm with you. Here's what I do like about it. That eight percent is face numbing. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying the shit out of that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the one thing I'll give it. If you want to, if you want to, we'll go home Mel and wonder face. and wonder who shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the beer for you, honey. Was, was it wasn't me? Somebody shit my pants again. <laughs> oh that. no! Someone peed in my pants. <laughs> yeah, two for me. Chris gets it. Yeah. <laughs> So I, the first <laughs> sip that I had, honestly, I thought, that, oh, this is a very good, flavorful it's IPA. Full flavor. Yes. Um, as I settled into it, I kind of had a lot of the same thoughts. Oh, this is this is very this is a juicy IPA. I wouldn't call this, you know, I don't know the science behind what makes it a double IPA or whatever. Um, but I, don't yeah, worry, I, I work at a brewery and I still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's when they do an IPA and then Stu's in the back it. going, "When do I add the hops?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't add all that hops, did you? <laughs> this is a triple IPA. <laughs> um, but the more I had of it, the a lot of the points that Brendan made, I, I struggled with. For me, the eight percent is is way too much. Yeah, I either want to have that citrusy, 
juiciness. Yeah. Or I want it to be the ass kicker high ABV. And right now it's more of the high ABV without that citrus to kind of help. Um, uh, that's, that's what I mean. Like brighter yeah, would have helped. Something yeah. to help kind of cut that because it, it is. It's very heavy drinking. Um, but yeah. I I do th- I do think it's average for me for in my opinion if you're an IPA person um, I want to say bland but it's not it's, it's not, not bland. it's not that it's bland but it, ha- it has zero notes of anything which I f- I find very weird yeah, it's notes it. of hop yeah yeah like but no like, defining <laughs> yeah. no defining flavor profile yeah. though which yeah. you, you know what you're getting so would would this be oh, sorry I know you haven't given your score yet but would this be like if going down that train of thought Coors Light no no flavor profile. It's got it's low ABV, and then you're going the exact opposite, which is just okay. Here's straight. here's how you make this beer perfect: half and half with a Coors Light. This beer all of a sudden tastes great. Yeah. Okay. And now you've punched up the <laughs> the, the, yeah. the hop flavor into uh, the Coors Light. And well, cut every the rest of this. I'm willing to test it. Every light. <laughs> <laughs> Every light beer is basically a watered down version of this, from yeah. an eight percent to a four yeah. percent, and right because they're not it. they're not doing any. So, <laughs> so right? Brendan is really living out the fact that this is a face numbing beer for him because he is. Yeah, he's gonna Uh-oh. mix. Not good. I'd say, By the way, I'd Brendan, say two thirds of the way through the beer, and he's already ready. To see, mix Brendan it. has the new aluminum solo yeah, cups. Those that's are cool, sick, as hell. dude. I love those. Are they double walled? No, no, they're. They're like red solo cups of aluminum. Yeah, so you can recycle they're like them. D- they're or the more disposable. Durable. Yeah. Oh, they're actually they're pretty they're tough. They're disposable? Yeah. Recycle? Oh. Yep. Damn. Yeah, let me try them. Um, are, we, are we doing oh, this? Oh, let's I will, shit. I will give my score real quick because I don't want that to go get for lost. It. I don't want to waste one of those pretty cups. No, they're recycled. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, yeah, you don't recycle. You use the same That's cup again? Nice. <laughs> um, I, I'm I telling will, you, I think I fixed this beer. We'll, we'll find out soon. It's very foamy. I will give this uh, a two and a half. I do think that. Man, we just covered the gamut there. Yeah. So I we got a one a and a half, IPA. a two and a half, a two and a half, and a two. But I, I, I'll. My were there two, two and, this, and a half? Weren't you a. You were you a were two, two and a half? Oh, I, I thought, thought you were a two. No, that's a two. That's right. And yeah. you were a two. Okay, so a, a one and a one half, half. Two, two, two and a half. It didn't do well. Yeah, Deuces. No. Yeah, literally. I, I really think for me, if this were a 6%, I think it would be. Yeah. A whole lot better shape. <laughs> How's that suicide? How is it? It's fantastic. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, I don't make this shit up. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, this beer goes right along with Cleveland because they just get by on their marketing. Now oh. it's it's lighter, it's <laughs> yeah. brighter. Yeah, it's got a it's got a punch of hops. Yeah. No, I, I tell you, when you told me you had something, for it's me today, narrowing down to like five and a half percent alcohol. See? Yeah, it's, it's perfection. <laughs> it's like a high acting Coors Light. When you told me earlier today that you had something for me. I was really hoping it was Magic Hat. Just Apricot, Magic yeah. Hat number nine? Yeah. Uh, because it's a I, that's something that beer. I have not seen in seven years. Dude, eight I haven't years. even thought of Magic Hat. And there was you know, a that time was they, where they Magic Hat was beer. the craft. And it was, I mean, I bet if I went back and drank it again. But I, I remember you, really liking all, like almost everything they put out. But don't you see every once in a while, like, I think I see like the individual Magic Hat can in Total Wine. I don't. Like, not, I don't not, not, I don't go to Total Wine much. I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't go there a lot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Brendan's on to something. <laughs> it's but, what it needed. But I'm telling I, okay. you. But as I'm getting ready to drink this, he's over there just like one eye. <laughs> like, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> yeah. Because it is good now. I I recognized its deficiency, a lack of course light. Why is it, Why is the microphone moving? It's not. <laughs> Brendan is just swaying. It's still actually a little too pungent. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's the crazy thing. It's now a three, <laughs> but yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not moving up the ranks. Well, you're not going to fix this with so much. No, it's still too pungent. But it did need to be cut just a little, in my opinion. I just feel like if you're going to have this much hop, like put some flavor on it. I just don't like. I just don't like regular hop flavored yeah. that much. Like, is oh, you didn't put enough course light. I, know, too I need to add more. <laughs> it's too much like a foot. I, I really think that citrus. Flavored kind of hops, yeah. and that that it cuts it. is in IPAs for yeah. a reason, and it I really agree with is you. to can, cut can, some of that bitterness. Can we talk about these cups? These are Dude, cool. Those shit. cups are amazing. So they're this beautiful. Is, this is the new ball. They're also huge. I feel aluminum. Like. Yeah, they're twenty ounces. So nice. your boy is gonna make you. Uh, oh, the, <laughs> the bourbons to the top. The white knight's gonna. <laughs> All I know, dude, is 
these cups, so Ball has now released a fully aluminum cup that's like a solo cup. Hella sturdy. Yeah. It's a lot more sturdy than your typical solo cup. Yeah. It's it's a little more sturdy than a can. It's way more sturdy than a can. But I'm just trying to give people a reference. Like it's more sturdy than a can. It's not as sturdy as like. Uh, I bet it's not as insulated as a solo yeah, that, cup. Yeah, I was just about to say you're now going to have to have the uh, the. You're going to get koozie. Cup koozie. On? Yeah. According yeah. to Ball, it's more insulated than a solo cup. I can't believe that. Just because it's denser is their their logic. They say it's more yeah, insulated than a conducts, solo cup. I agree with it, you. Yeah, I mean, this like instantly. You can see the, the yeah. yeah I mean, see it, it. It is super cold on the outside. Yeah. Well, that's that's you got the Coors Light out of the Eddy, right? Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, okay. that's where that's pretty yeah. much sub zero. And those were warm two hours ago. Oh, yeah, wow. that's how the Yeti rolls. Not even ice in it. Well, it doesn't roll because so it doesn't <laughs> have wheels. <laughs> that's how the Yeti doesn't roll. <laughs> Touche. That's that was a good one. The igloo does, but so these cups are yeah the cooler twice as big and <laughs> half as much yeah that one has wheels. These are my new favorite disposable cups. Like I'm done with red solo. They're beautiful, cups. dude. Like that's a work of art. The ball aluminum cup. It does cost more than your typical solo yeah. cup. What are we looking at? How many for what cost? Uh, I got thirty for twenty. Ooh, that's a big up. Uh, I mean, thirty. You gotta really like the people you're tailgating with. Yeah, it's not that big of a jump. You to, can you can actually wash those out though. You can wash them out a few times, but you don't want to like. But the difference is when you recycle. It's easy for you, you to some, say. You need some. <laughs> you need some decals. We got some decals going. When you in your recycle cup. them. <laughs> I recycle. I couldn't tell if he was going to go with restack them yeah. or recycle them. It couldn't. I think it was recycling. Oh, I know where I was going because I turned away from the mic in disappointment <laughs> with myself. I had a little conversation with myself in my head, and I told get myself, it together, Brendan. Yeah, I hate you, but he's still fighting this whole flat Earth thing. So stupid. <laughs> God, <laughs> <laughs> I do suck, but it's a whole other story. We could do a whole other new podcast. Yeah, ways I suck. I could wow. release that one daily. People will just show up. Just a little 15, 20 minute little teasers every day. <laughs> just a little teaser. Here's how I suck today. <laughs> Pat, we've seen you in four like, years. Why exactly. are you here? <laughs> I heard we got a hot topic. <laughs> I heard we were going to talk about how you suck. Got people lining up out yeah, the door. Gotta, just, just, gonna have to get one of those deli number things. Like, you're going to be here a minute. <laughs> number 23. Number 23. <laughs> Ooh, come on in. Turn. Say how I suck. Be like Beetlejuice. So 10,000. These are infinite. <laughs> these are infinitely recyclable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. So. Apparently, when you recycle uh, plastic, like only a they don't recycle any of that shit. Only a yeah. very small percentage. Even if you went to a perfect place that recycles plastic, and you gave them all your solo cups, there's only a very small percentage of it that they can actually utilize to turn into something else. Yeah. And the integrity of the plastic has been diminished. Yep. So now you have to turn it into something that's a lesser product, and then that that product can't really be recycled again. Yeah. Because it's now already been broken down yeah, to some other It's been other recycled level. too many times. Exactly. <laughs> but you can recycle aluminum yeah. an infinite Aluminium, amount of times. How say. many sack cycles well, can we get? <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> yeah. Troy, we will, I will forgive my own fault again. You can recycle alu- aluminum. <laughs> Alum- Damn, there we go. <laughs> you can recycle aluminum... <laughs> for our friends across the pond. Infinitely. Yeah. And, it, all, and it retains its integrity... And so, like, 95% of it ends up back in the next product. Yeah. And it retains, the, like I said, the integrity of it so you can keep doing it. Yeah. So the only thing we should be recycling is aluminum. Yeah. Stop making all that plastic garbage. The other, no, plastic is garbage. So I'm willing to pay a little more and get these. And I think what I'm going to do is actually have a separate recycle bin Yeah. for just these. Because uh, this is cool. And... It looks awesome. It looks yeah. badass. I mean, I imagine that you could do this with the same aluminum can disposal uh, and go that route. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Your point about the plastics is interesting because when, when you do recycle plastics, to what extent you can, you come away with those microplastics. The and beads. you are starting to see that yeah. more in clothing, shoes, things like that, that they can incorporate into that. As a yeah. small percentage exactly. of the overarching yeah, product, exactly. though. Because yeah, you there's, can't there's really There's nowhere make... for it to go, ultimately. No, it's it becomes yeah. a part of something else, and it's like, well, now well, you're just furthering that supply Everyone chain. knows 100% of all plastics go in the ocean. That's where we dump them directly, right? <laughs> Yes. That's what I've well, always been told. That's the preferred dumping place. <laughs> yeah, of course. But sometimes it's hard to get it to the ocean. Yeah. So I, I would so recommend rivers. starting with a stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you have a stream or something, go put yeah. your plastics yeah. there. Get Eventually, a creek in your backyard. Just 
throw it right on out. It will make it to the yeah, ocean. Yeah, over time. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> no, I love those things. $30 for 20 of them. 20, well, 20 for 30, I thought. It was 30 for 20. Oh, God. 30 cups for $20. Okay, that's better than my version. Plastic does naturally degrade. It's 450 years. It takes <laughs> longer than that. You Googled it? Nope. What, 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 what white paper on? is this from? That's what I, want to <laughs> I mean, 450 so, years isn't really. That's not that long. Granted, how long have we been making plastic? Plastic though? toothbrushes had the longest disp- disposable time at 500 years. How is that even possible? You know, it's funny. Is it you go back? It's it, made by a bet. 400 a, years yeah. for that's for your. The good news is wrapper. all the plastic cups that were at that tailgate in 1620. 1621. <laughs> yeah. It's now gone. gone. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So things <laughs> are looking up. This shit was up. a rager. Dude, best party ever. <laughs> well, the Iroquois the... invited the Seminoles <laughs> over. And they say, raged. The best party for the white settlers. Uh, not oh. so much for the smallpox. They, they weren't brought. even here. Oh, actually. Mm. Yeah, no, no, that's true. Our smallpox was here. Yeah. Brought over in a Dixie cup. Not everybody knew that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had it been aluminum. Here, drink this. So question, is that whole thing... Aluminium, or is it just yeah, one hundred percent? Okay, no, I am I am all in on these ball aluminium recyclable cups. They're yeah. awesome. I'm glad you have this. I hadn't seen these yet in person, and I'm and I'm a fan. Okay, so you've heard about them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would not throw those away. I'm, like I'm I would definitely younger. wash those. I'm gonna just well, say, why I think it, yeah, why I think some of our some of our moms would would wash this three I'd or four run, times. I'd rinse that thing out with the hot water and yeah, put it on drying rack. Call if it's, it's, al- if it's aluminum, put it in the dishwasher. No, that'll melt it yeah. immediately. I don't know well, about melt, that but break it down. Hell. Yeah. I'll throw it in the dishwasher and find out. <laughs> yeah, then you'll <laughs> and then need I'll a new buy dishwasher. A new dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I doubt it's going to get hot enough to fully oh, melt it. Do into you still the... call your wife the dishwasher? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would not throw it in my wife. <laughs> I mean, if you want to <laughs> test the heat thing. <laughs> That's just, rude. Just grab your, <laughs> your grill gun if you want to test the heat. Oh. Now we got to melt one of those. <laughs> 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 Let's put it on the tree stump outside. That's four hundred thousand BTUs. No, <laughs> no washing machine is getting to four hundred thousand BTUs. Mm. Yeah, your weak ass one. Mine does. Respect. <laughs> Respect. I'm not even mad. No, I just think these are awesome. Like this should be a little soapy water. Every in it, tailgate, water any tailgate it. that has this, though, you know, you're in a different league. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a status symbol for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to yeah. take bets on how many of these I'll see in Clemson in a couple of weeks? Oh, my gosh. Are you going down there for a game? Yeah. Are you going to say zero? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say zero. <laughs> Other than the ones Actually, that I bring. Some highfalutin <laughs> person would yeah. have to have them. I right? hope I do. Mm-hmm. I, I really do. Can so I borrow, really can I borrow I should... those with a forerunner? The cups? Yeah. You want to show some show some love? I'll, I'll, you can. I'll let you do that. A little side conversation. But, yeah, we'll talk about this later. What game are you going to? Uh, Clemson's homecoming, so they're playing Boston College. Nice. Yeah. Be nice. It's a nice time. I, I obviously hadn't been to Clemson for a game in, since 2019 now. Oh, wow. Um, but we got a group of people that buy season tickets, and um, we're looking forward to getting together for a game. I'm, a getting, to do my, game. I'm getting to do my first, which is uh, oh, nice. USC at Notre Dame. Oh, right on. <sighs> hey, Abacus, now that you've had that course light, uh, yeah. with you, how is it now? Um, I think you went in <laughs> A two and a half to a two point six. <laughs> Not the big <laughs> jump I was looking for. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. You thought I it was going to go up after the course light? Uh, yeah, I did. I, it, it did help. I, I really agree that that cutting that alcohol is it what needed it, it needs. It yeah. needed it. All right, there's something that happened this week that I'm 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 I love because I'm a big Simpsons guy. Oh yeah, yeah. And I love how Bart Simpson used to prank Moe's Tavern, and. People that are outside of the Richmond area are not not familiar, but Henrico County is is just a county over here in Richmond, and there was a school board meeting, and school board meetings that are... That county, like, encompasses, it wraps around the city of Richmond on, like, three sides. Like, it... Is, yes. You can't hardly get out of the city of Richmond without driving into Henrico County. So, it... it this this particular story has actually caught a lot of uh, a lot of attention around the way, and I just thought since we are in Richmond, we should at least talk about it. And there is nothing more contested and hot right now than school board meetings, thanks to COVID and mask mandates and all that goes with it. And some kids actually sent in a bunch of fake names because apparently, when you're in a school board meeting, they will actually allow you to just send in a topic or send in your name. And then they will call you up to discuss your topic. And they have to actually 
invite all of these people up. So some makes sense. So so some students actually took the time to send in a bunch of fake names. So we found out students did this. Uh, that's how it's always been presented to me. I don't okay. I don't know that for a fact. Sounds like parents of our generation would have done this because this is definitely a throwback prank. So if you remember the old, you know, Mo, like he or oh, yeah. Mo in Mo's the Simpsons, Tavern. you know, Bart would call up and he'd be like, uh, uh, "I'm looking for alcoholic." And then he'd be like, I'm looking for alcoholic. Are there any alcoholics in here? Was R- like, run it back a second because the Simpsons, that gag is something that no one in today's world will understand because Bart Simpson from his landline <laughs> would call the landline of the bar, to the local someone. tavern, and then Mo, the bartender, would hold the phone out to the side and yell, for whoever he was asking for. Now, in today's world, you just immediately text the person that was sitting at the tavern or you call them directly. Yes. But you used to have to call, like, if Brennan and I were hanging out and I knew Brennan was going to have dinner at whatever restaurant, I could call up that restaurant and say, I'm looking for Brendan, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they'd say, well, let me check. And they could actually check for him. That's not how today's world yeah. works. That's been gone for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so the joke is... Bart Simpson, the 10-year-old, would call Moe's Tavern and say, I'm looking for Al, alcoholic. So, so, no joke, a few years ago, I was in a bar in New Orleans, and I don't like Bourbon Street. I don't like New Orleans that much. Sorry, Sue. I'm just not a huge fan. I love New Orleans, but not Bourbon Street. That's not but the that's best the thing. Every time it. I go, yeah. I go to Bourbon Street, so I have a very tainted view. But so, there's this <laughs> one particular Bourbon bar. Street is the taint of there's New Orleans. There's this one exactly. bar, though, that I found. It's this, cur- it's this, uh, it's this little corner bar about three blocks off of Bourbon Street, and I would find myself in there all the time. And I just it was just like my, my corner bar. So I'm down there for a uh, national sales meeting. And every night at the end of the night, I would drag whatever late-night crew off Bourbon Street and go to this little shithole cor- corner bar, the kind of place where you can still buy a pack of cigarettes out of the machine oh, nice. and sit there. Real high-class joint. The kind yeah. of place I like, right? Yeah. You fit right in. So I'm sitting in this place. Every single night with all the people. Well, this girl at my company actually lost her ID in the bar. And she was like, I don't know how to find my ID. So she thought, you know what? It's two in the morning. I'll call the bar and ask for Brendan. (laughs) No joke. Bartender's like, hey, I got a call for Brendan. Brendan here. And I'm like, I'm. I'm I'm Brendan. Yeah. They're like I'm, you have I'm a an A Brendan. They're like you have a you have a phone call at the bar. So I go up to the bar, I pick up the phone, it's like she's like, Hey, it's Sally. I'm so glad you're there. I lost my ID. What are the chances? Yeah. She didn't have your cell phone number? No, she oh, didn't have wow. any of my information. So she's like, I'll call that degenerate bar that Brendan's the regular been there forever. <laughs> yeah. Because that's where he'll be because every night that we've been here, the time, he's still there. He drags everybody out to this <laughs> yeah. stupid ass bar. So she, they call, she calls up, like, ask for Brendan. They yell. I grab it. She's like, I lost my ID. Do you mind looking around? I look around the bar. Sure enough, I find her in this empty-ass bar. Yeah. I find her ID on the ground. I'm like, Sally, I found your bar. I found your ID. She's like, oh, if you could bring that back, you'd be a lifesaver. I got to catch a flight at 8 a.m. I was like, perfect. I'll bring it back to the Didn't hotel. Did you find an ID when you were in Nashville recently? Yeah, I am. the. F- You're like the <laughs> ID-finding guy. I do find IDs. But so in the last... Three years, I've actually gotten a call at a bar in a state, in a city I'm not from, and I was there. That's hmm. weird. That's pretty wild. And found the ID. But I, reg- I, dig- I digress. So you're shitting on my point. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm I'm a simple creature. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> my point. I go to bars. I find IDs. What more do you want? So this is, this is the actual guy at the school board asking the names that the kids have sent in. I'm going to play it for you really quick because I think these are hilarious. Sorry for the sound going. Phil McCracken. <laughs> That's a Simpsons one. Phil McCracken. Nobody answered. Next name. Sulk. Sook. Mahidic. I love how he's trying to, like, pronounce it. He knows they're not. Mahidic. Mahidic. <laughs> Ophelia McHawk. <laughs> Ophelia M- McHawk. Oh, my God. He hasn't gotten it yet. No. Eileen Dover. Which is a classic. Yeah. Eileen Dover. Eileen Dover. 
Don Kiddick. My absolute favorite. <laughs> Don Kiddick. Don Kiddick should be my fantasy name. Wayne Kerr. Wayne Kerr. Wayne, Wayne Kerr. Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just checking them off. They're not here. Yeah. Okay. Phonetically. Dude, how great is that? The I- Don Kiddick is one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life. It's- no Harry C word. That's like my favorite one of all time. Or Seymour Butts. Well, that's a that's another Simpsons one. Yeah. That one's but, great. So, but see, the way he like worked through adult pronouncing them, like yeah. he tried so oh, yeah. hard yeah. because he's like so yeah. professional. Well, he's it's 2021, <laughs> right? So like, I don't yeah, there's names, names you don't know anymore. Yeah. There's yeah. there's no more like Michael Scott from like The Office, like two <laughs> first names. Like you don't hear that. Like they're like you're gonna hear weird names. Like yeah. I've been coaching kids in in baseball for the past seven eight years, and like. <laughs> Every year the kids get the names get weirder and weirder and weirder and you're like I don't know how to say this. Well, it's like that that Hey, key, seven. Come here. Yeah. 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 It's like that Denise. Key Peel spread. Denise. Yeah, yeah, and he's like yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Ron, yeah. stop yeah. fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw you out the goddamn way. Yeah, like you're going down but, to O'Shack Kennedy's office. <laughs> but I got I got him. I never heard Don Key Dick. I was pretty good. Don Key Dick. That's a good one. Is the greatest <laughs> name ever. When I heard that, I was Dying. I'd heard the rest of it, never that one. Don Mm. Key Dick. So (laughs) I hadn't seen the original or what prompted this, but this afternoon I saw a tweet from Henrico County Public Schools that was school board chair Roscoe Cooper III and vice chair Marcy Shea. The second would have never fallen. No. Carefully inspect today's list of public (laughs) comments at the board meeting. No sign of Mr. McCracken, Mrs. Dover, or her husband, Ben. Right. And I was like, that's awesome that Henrico County Public Schools can make the joke about us. Now I can put, you know, the two together and and see what it was. I didn't see the first part of the bit. Oh, well, there you go. (laughs) So this is perfect. Yeah, it made every single... I mean, even Yahoo Sports was having an article, oh, and it was awesome. crazy. And that was the most production I've done in years. <laughs> yes. I it's literally, been at least four years. Since I had done to that. sit through and go through this woman's <laughs> tweets who had actually put it out there. I was like, yes, but like someone had just—they happened to record it, dude. Yeah. The fact that Henrico County put that follow-up, yeah, tweet with those names on yeah. it was kind of racy by like A school, school board, board standards, yeah. like. So the funny part of it is the picture of the school board chair. Yeah, he's looking, him, he's looking through binoculars, binoculars to, to yeah. carefully inspect the list. He's wearing glasses and has Apparently. binoculars. I'm pretty sure there's sunglasses on it. No, those, those are regular. Glasses no, he has glasses yeah. on and he's looking through binoculars. <laughs> like it was the, like it was his he's, lack of vision. He's eight, he's, eight, he's, eight, eight, he's eight inches away from the paper with <laughs> ten time binoculars. Those like, are those those, shit, pixels at this yeah. those are those electric binoculars that give him the uh, phonetic pronunciation of each one. Uh, oh, is that okay. what that is? Yeah. He's like. Oh, it's not Donkey Dick. Dick. <laughs> it's Don Key Dick. You know some Karen's going to be like, I can't believe you tweeted out that Ben Dover joke a second time around. <laughs> like, that was not cool. <laughs> so I just looked I looked it up for fun. Uh, 1989, season one, the first call-in to Moe's was uh, IP. Freely. Yeah, Mr. Freely. Yeah. Mr. IP Freely. 89. So let's <laughs> – and they That's pulled a- it off yesterday or last week. That's wild. That's a three-decade bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it finally made it to our little school district and went viral. Yeah. Respect. Congra- Not even mad. Congrats, Enrico. You look like idiots. Yeah. Don <laughs> Key Dick. The good thing is they're running all of the, our children's educations. Not ours because we don't go. We don't live in Enrico. Okay. But For the record, our kids are smart as shit then because that yeah. was awesome. That was well executed. I got seven minutes of content. I can't believe that dude <laughs> fell for it that many times over. Like well, the, that's the, the best part. You're just reading that though. Going. Like I'm sure you're not picking up on it. Like, Ophelia McCracken. It. Somebody this. had to hit him in the arm and be like, "Dude, you just said <laughs> Phil McCracken." So like, I, I got to follow up Troy with this. Makes me think of another Jim Carrey movie, which is if you put anything on the teleprompter, he'll read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that's on. not a Jim Carrey movie. No. Yeah, you're thinking that's, of Anchorman. <laughs> No. That's what <laughs> boy. That escalated quick. It is Anchorman. You're yes. thinking of I mean, uh, No, 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 Jim Fires? Almighty or Yeah. Whatever. Evan Almighty. Evan, Evan Almighty. Almighty. That one I think No, is no, not Evan Almighty. Is it's, uh, it's it literally is Anchorman. Evan. What's yeah. the follow one? No, Jim Anchorman. Carrey, Jim Carrey finds uh what's his name? Um cuz it's uh 
I'm going to put this minus one right here. Come on, <laughs> come on. Jim Carrey tries to get his job back. Jennifer Anderson's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. You're, t- you're thinking it's uh, Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty, thank you. But, Jim Carrey. But the, the, the plot point you're missing is that he is God and he is controlling him to yeah. say the things that he's saying. And Anchorman, they get... They it's say like whatever he reads on right. Ron Burgundy. This eight point oh double IPA is <laughs> and amazing. That's where and he says, is flat. <laughs> uh, go fuck yourself. Right. Say right, right, right. So now Stu's face is melting. <laughs> <laughs> While speaking of God, the ITPH uh, chapel, <laughs> you can send donations. Oh, it to is going to be a chapel. I don't. I'm not sure. Look, we're, we're open this temple. Sunday. This Sunday's our first Sunday. Yeah, and um, Troy, what's that Venmo? At Inside the Pout House on Venmo. That's where you pay your tithe. If you go ahead and put in there uh, tithing, and yeah. then you tell us what your uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> your, <laughs> what your particular what your particular concern thing to is, avoid in society. we will decide what branch to put yep. you in. But uh, we're more than willing, we're yeah, we'll more than we'll willing and able to to write you a letter saying that for religious reasons, we have room uh, for all. You cannot do yep. X, X, Y, Z, whatever letter you don't like. Where. Very open. Very open. <laughs> Very open. <laughs> Loosey goosey. As long as, if I, all right, there's one tenant. If whatever you believe in doesn't hurt somebody else. Yes. You there can't you go. be. That's the one. That's the one caveat to our yeah. religion. And you have to grow a mustache. Yes. We'll talk about that in November. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost yeah, that time. Ah, half Ooh. price tithings. If you grow a mustache. <laughs> no, double, not half. <laughs> No, I just think that this could be a good way to build the team <laughs> with right, a bunch of people right. who have this ridiculous <laughs> beliefs. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with them. That's why I'm saying double. We don't have to hang out with them. No, no, no. Double for the mullet and the mustache. Ooh. Follow the <laughs> Church of Abacus. Abacus. Yeah. Yeah. Church of Abacus. <laughs> Bring all of your hairs to me. <laughs> that's our, uh, that's uh, what you're uh, into? Okay. Here, do you hate counting properly? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's the Abacus that's the branch, Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna That's get all the extra money though. You see, I, I don't care. Right? You know, whatever it is, like, this, like I'm down with this. Stu's gonna help the, help the people <laughs> who don't tell- want the vaccine. You're gonna help the people who don't want to be discriminated against horrible hair. <laughs> 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 we're, gonna, we're gonna fix this. Dude. I was uh, telling my, I was telling all dads in the neighborhood. I had a bunch of dads say they want to uh, join in on the uh, on the team, and I told them we got the, we picked up a free agent. So that'll be the stash yeah. Davidian. Yeah, that's a whole other branch, and that's they're, one they're that actually excited. does good. That's a yeah. good, that's a yeah. really good branch to be in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll get good that. karma if you're in that branch. Yeah, but you see this this thing runs deep. We just need to set this up as a religion legally. We, we need just, to give some tax. There's some paperwork. Some, we I'm need sure. some funds to help get it going. Enough to cover the paperwork. Yeah. As soon as we get enough funds to cover the paperwork, I will I will file. I got a lawyer friend that could hook us up. Boom. Yeah. On the arm? Yeah. Because I'm looking for this on the arm. On the arm? Free. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's free. how lawyers work. <laughs> free thing. <laughs> well, whatever that particular <laughs> gal or guy's thing is, we'll just do a whole branch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be a uh, wide-reaching He's pretty religion. religious, like Christian, so I don't I think mean, he's going to he should those be. in, too. <laughs> yeah, he should be. No, clearly, we're not going to discriminate. Okay. There is... No, look, this is... It's a religion. We've got to discriminate. <laughs> Doesn't he something. want to be a lord himself? All religion discriminates against certain. Not ours. All right, we got to find something to discriminate against. <laughs> shellfish. No. no. Okay, not shellfish, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a Damn. nerve. Hit a nerve. Colors. <laughs> yeah, colors. <laughs> color. uh, what? Wait, what? What color do we know? Oh yeah, because I'm color yeah. blind. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All red and green. Fine, sold. <laughs> that is my branch. I am done with. Th- I'm good with that. Yeah, that is actually our thing. You shouldn't have to have things red and green. Are you like the? I, ha- are you the change all stoplights? <laughs> That's fine. You know what, Troy? I'm willing to bring that. You're, you're in a paral. You're a Paralympian. <laughs> you're all right. You're full of hate. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tr- brother Troy over here. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying we'll to have- find your lane. I'm trying to find your lane. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to pick something that's a that's a big deal, like something that I can be like held out if I don't do. And I'm like, nah, if I'm not bothering you, it shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't bother anybody. Um, so you're looking for the like the cause that you can be the like rally against almost. Sure. I just don't know what that is yet. <laughs> I'm sure you can find something in today's world. I don't like mushrooms. Uh, check, yourself. <laughs> check yourself. Check yourself. 
Mushrooms are gross. So I feel like you're gonna have people that are like in a bunch, <laughs> a bunch. No, of but in my mind, branches. in my mind, like I'm very, I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm super easy. If what you do doesn't affect other people and doesn't hurt other people, go then, for it. Then I'm willing to support yeah. your cause, and I'm willing to give you a religious exemption yeah. to follow that belief, whatever that is. I'm, yeah. I'm a libertarian by nature, and this just allows me to put a religious check box for you, <laughs> and then I can then send you, you know, the tenants that say, yep. Religiously, I'm exempt from X. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to help. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm in. Is this is an easy money maker? Oh, let's let's not get this twisted. Yeah. I'm in it for the money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were just doing it for goodwill. No, I don't want to change okay. the world. You I want to change the quiet part out loud. I want to change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? A lot of a lot of these shady religions would be what? better if they did just tell the truth. It's true. I'm. I'm not creating a religion because I'm already I already have my. We're 100. <laughs> percent yeah, We're 100 percent up front. That's what we do. Yes. Oh. The, all right. Those are the two tenants. We're 100 yeah. percent up front. We're 100 percent honest. Somebody should be writing yeah. this down. We're 100 percent honest about whatever we do, and if it doesn't hurt someone else to do what you're doing, we're willing to write you a religious exemption. That's it. That's our whole tenant. Those are two. So who's deciding whether it hurts somebody else or not? Me. <laughs> Okay, so where do you stand on no, the no, vaccine no. mandates? <laughs> oh, you, honestly, you want me to get into it? <laughs> if you want to. I don't think you should be able to tell anyone what to do with their body. That's fair. But when it helps the greater good? Sure. You should. So. Yeah, because. I understand that this is a conflicted interest, but I've had to like, I've had to wrestle with this yeah. personally. Like, I've had to like, try to wrap my head around where I stand on that. And I've come down to the fact that like, like, say I'm wearing a mask in the grocery store, right? And someone comes up to me and they're like, why are you wearing a mask? I'm like, I don't care that you're not wearing a mask. Yeah. You shouldn't care that I am wearing a mask. Because yeah. what we're doing doesn't really affect the other person. Now, granted, I understand that there is science behind the fact that you not wearing a mask could affect me. But don't bitch that I'm wearing a mask. I'm not going to bitch that you're not wearing a mask. Because... That's you. Yeah. You do you. That's kind of where I stand, but that's because I'm a libertarian like by nature. So I'm kind of stuck in this this quagmire where I see yeah. things that are good for the greater good, but at the same time I'm like, eh. I think that's the part that I struggle with is cuz you know, I'm somebody that will fully say do what you want to do, believe what you want to believe, but when it comes to being a part of your community and keeping people safe that maybe can't take care of themselves, like that's where there needs to be a step up from all people to whether it's get but vaccinated, there's, there's wear a mask that, There's, people that, there's like. people that can't take care of themselves. And in order to make sure they can take care of themselves, they procreate. <laughs> the idiocracy theory. Oh, yeah. well, no, I'm just saying that is, a, that is a relative stream of thought in society that you can receive more federal funds for being... Oh, dependent. you're going down a whole other level. Yeah. With children. I don't, I'm not trying to get down. I know, but I'm my saying thing is with Leah. Is I'm like, trying to stick with where Leah is. I'm as, trying to as stick with those kids. Like, I, I'm already, I'm already pro vaccine because my kids have had a bunch of vaccines, as have I. So, like, if if I need to take another one, then yeah. I'm okay with that. Like, it's not the end of the world. See, I recognize that my my particular principles are not applauded, even in my own home. Like, I get shot down all the time. Well, you, I mean, you definitely. But I've always been of that. We bust your, yeah, we bust your chops all the time because, you're like, and you're you're aware of it. You're like, yeah. I, I see the I'm, hypocrisy yeah. in what yeah, I you think. Make, and you do that with a lot of things. Yeah, because yeah. I just, I stand by the fact if you want to do something, you need to do it within your own home. It's never bothered me okay, what the, you the do. The people who don't get vaccinated and don't want to abide by something that can help the greater good need to stay the fuck home. Like, that's the part that the the equation isn't coming to okay, the but, answer. <laughs> but so so say you you're going to be unvaccinated and you wear a mask everywhere you go. Then how are you? With I don't think that's right. If they want to wear a mask and 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 do that religiously, then how are you even causing a problem? I don't think that they necessarily are. I'm not saying that in. in not every person has to get the vaccine if they can't, if they have a health condition that prevents them to, a legitimate thing. Or a religious or exemption. Or a religious <laughs> exemption. Which, 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 which don't even, <laughs> religious exemptions don't even factor into the equation because if you get a religious exemption per your job, per your university, per everything, you have to go get tested at your own dime. Yeah. Which is a tremendous pain in the ass in, in and of itself. Like, yeah. all right, this weekend, all right. this weekend, I had been invited to somebody's house and they wanted us to take 
like uh, a at home COVID test to like like hang out. And three fourths of my family abided by it. And I said, I'm going to mow the lawn. You're line. not talking about me, are you? No, okay. no, 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 absolutely not. No, no. <laughs> I was sorry. like, you were invited to my house and so you didn't come. <laughs> no, but, but it was a different circumstance. Yeah, okay. no, no, I didn't ask no, that. No, no. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yes. We have our own thing, but yeah, that was yeah, not yeah. what I was discussing. Okay. And I was like, I was like, I'm not going to take that. Of I was like, I'm not going to take a COVID test. I'm just going to mow the lawn. I got, I got shit to do around yeah. here. And then I got a call from the guy and he's like, bro, why aren't you here? And I was like, ah, I heard I had to take a COVID test. It's something stupid. He's like, I'm not yeah, trying to be a yeah. dick, but like, I got a ton of shit to do. He's like, will you just come over here and have a fucking whiskey? And I was like, do no. you care if I don't take the test? He goes, no, I don't care. What the fuck are you talking about? I was like, I was told I had to take a test to go over your house, and it just seemed like a bridge too far for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, just to come yeah, over yeah, and yeah. have a whiskey. And he's like, no, will you come over here? Like, I got this awesome whiskey. I was like, fuck yeah. And went over and had a whiskey. So and where, then I made fun of so all where the was women. The <laughs> <laughs> so wh- wh- who, where were the... Where was the mandate from? The wife? Yeah, there was, a, I mean, not to get too into the weeds, but but yeah, there was a scare. Yeah. But everything was okay. Yeah. And then just out of an abundance of caution, the women had discussed it and were like, yeah, we'll yeah. do X to make sure that everyone can hang out. And I was like, that's fine. I don't care. Because again, I don't care. Yeah. Well, you were yeah. coming to my house and y'all, when there was a scare. But and, that's a and whole you, and you different and I talked thing. about it and we were like and you were like I was like I'll gladly have you guys down but, but I, we were having a bunch of other people but over then you got to tell a hundred people well, and you were like well I don't want to you were worried ripple. about other people so you were like I'll just stay home like as much as I want to hang out like I'm not because gonna again, inconvenience other because I don't care if it doesn't I don't want to affect the greater exactly yeah so I just again it falls right into my belief yeah, yeah, line yeah. whatever that is right or wrong I just if you're not affecting other people. It's all yeah. good. So, so I yeah. chose not to affect other people yeah. and make them even have to make a decision. Yeah. Go have fun. Yeah. So to my point, so to that point, exactly. There are very clear options right now of how you can interact in society on a normal level. You can either have a vaccine. Get tested. Get tested regularly or wear a fucking mask. The people that or stay home. That's the other thing. Just stay the fuck home. Don't Which be involved. Which is the option I chose yeah. on both of those because I was like, I don't want to get a test. And that's totally fine. But what drives me fucking crazy at this point, we are 18 goddamn months into this shit, is the fact that you have people who are still bitching about wearing a mask, who are still bitching about not getting a vaccine, who are still bitching about doing all these things. You chose to go the fuck out of your house. I am sick and tired of this shit. Like, that's the part that drives me crazy. Your option, if you don't want to abide by A, B, and C, stay the fuck home. That's your option. Or I think a bar should open up and say... I don't give a shit what you do and make that very clear because then people who are wary about it, stay home on the flip side. Sure. And and that's all I'm saying. Like everyone should have their own right. 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 So like, say I open a bar, there's a bar here locally in town that, that literally when the no smoking mandate came down, they threw a big middle finger up. They put a phone booth that was non smoking and they became the smoking bar. And I was like, I'm good with that because yeah. now I can choose not to go there, yeah. but smokers can choose to go there. Yeah. And I think this and I'm should all be for that. That, that's, exactly that's my point. the same. Like, yeah, yeah. If you want to, if that's the path, the path you want to take and you want to say, we're going to cater to people who don't want to wear a mask and don't want to get vaccinated and don't want to show proof of that or whatever the deal is, then do that. And that's, you know, your point about you, you support people wanting to be, do things that aren't going to affect other people. That's exactly in line with that. I'm all here for that. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, there's there's a news uh, a story I saw today. A woman went to the Atlanta Aquarium and uh, got arrested because she uh, wouldn't wear her mask properly. Oh, no, okay. and then found out that she was carrying a gun on her in the Atlanta Aquarium. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> double. And so now she's getting yeah. extra charges because she chose to go to the Atlanta Aquarium and chose to not wear a mask. Like, you made okay, the choice. Was, the, was the gun holstered? <laughs> I, I don't know whether it's in a bag or what. <laughs> because the now it's it. protected. See, I'm <laughs> but no, but no. The, the point is, like, you you made the choice to go to step A, B, C, and D. Yeah. But this is someone who's who's actively flaunting. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, this is these people live outside of normal logic Societal yeah. if you're going to if you're board, going to flaunt say. everything and, and and look let's go the other way if you choose to live in a bubble you're also an asshole yeah <laughs> like, I, I yeah. see that too so like i just i can't get behind either extreme i think that's fine and, and 
I fully believe that the the answer to a lot of things when you have extremes on either side is, is generally somewhere in the middle. That truth lies somewhere in there. Just show a general give a fuck to your for other people. Society. Like you can yeah. go get hammered. Don't get behind the wheel of your car yeah. and drive to Texas. Shit can't hammered. But if you want to get shit can't hammered in your home. I have no problem. I'm not, a, with I'm not big on the whole mass thing because I don't believe the whole science of it, but it's definitely not a hill I'm gonna die on. Like if that's if I have to wear a mask to go to your place and I want to go I'll throw a stupid yeah. mask on. Like And if you don't want to wear a mask that day, but if I'm I don't want to go to your place, I'm not going to your place. Put yeah. the mask yeah. See that's and this is the thing. Like I didn't take the test to go to someone's house because I was like, This is a bridge too far. Yeah. I'm not doing this. I don't need to yeah. do this. That's just it's just how I stand. I don't know. I, right or wrong. But I'm willing to write a religious exemption for anything that doesn't <laughs> affect someone else. Stu, I know you're chopping at the bit over there, a hundred hundred ways to Sunday. You're gonna, you're just gonna, you know, bite your tongue. Because we don't do this on this podcast. Fair enough. I'm willing to accept it. See, I play that middle ground. See where I lie. Yeah. I don't think we're talking politics, are we? <laughs> I think we're philosophically. I don't want to talk politics at no. all. But I don't think this has to go into a political. No, well, that's the no, 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 that's the thing is there's nothing political about this. <laughs> no, but th- and that's what's what crazy is people will politicize. So here's, yes, what's, here's what's funny. They will here's what's funny. politicize. If you actually look at the CDC numbers, just seriously, look at the CDC numbers. Oh, God, here comes the stew numbers. All right, give it to me. The uh, issues with Texas and Florida are the same with New York and um, what is it? New Jersey. I don't understand that statement <clears throat> as far as. You know, they're saying, "Oh well, you know the the it's the, running the, rampant in Texas and it's running Florida, to, but, but you don't hear it running rampant in New York and Jersey." Is what you're saying? What I'm saying is the numbers are supporting a type of lifestyle, not a political agenda. Yeah, of course. Go out. The more you go out, the more likely you're going to get the shit. Well, no, that that that's, that's true. A, yeah, but if you look at population density and you look at obesity facts run with it and neither political party whether they're democratic republican or whatnot for the government of that state yeah is is not you know we're new york shutting everything down because it's the right thing to do uh texas and florida are opening everything up because it's the right thing to do yeah and yet the numbers are the exact fucking same yeah yeah i don't i don't i don't know enough to contradict or agree with you no i'm just like it you can't politicize a pandemic i mean it's science that Population density for all illnesses plays a huge fucking part. Like, oh, that's why norovirus runs rampant on a cruise ship. Yeah, right. So what I'm getting at too also (laughs) is, it's a choice of vaccine. It's a choice of mask. It's a choice of what you choose to do. Period. So I guess, and what we've determined from all of those choices is, it doesn't matter because the numbers are still the same. Here's here's how I guess I wish the world. But people that lock people that lock down, I people wish, that are wide open, are I getting wish the same that everybody cases. agreed that getting a vaccine is in the odds of the greater good and would do it. But I also don't feel like a company should be like, you can't work here anymore because you chose not to do so it. So there's a there's yeah. something that they're not telling you about that. Well, I don't I don't want to get into your flat earth. No, it's not a flat, it's a flat earth. It's a constitution 2005. But that's the, all the, I'm saying. Like, I, I think uh, there yeah. is. I don't I don't like when people well, mandate anything. Right. I feel like do you understand you, that a company you can't be fired? I just I gotta say this: you, go you, you can't. You have to. You have the right to pursue. You can't be fired by your employee unless they mandate. Right now, they're saying if you don't get the vaccine, we can fire you. Yes. Okay. Per the law, two thousand and five, under the uh, emergency use authorization for a vaccine, you don't have to take the emergency use authorization vaccine, and they can't fire you based on that emergency use authorization vaccine. They can fire you if you do not take the FDA-approved vaccine. So well, isn't Pfizer FDA-approved? And the, I'm not the, arguing the vaccine, for this. The vaccine just, that Pfizer has approved via the FDA. So that's their loophole that now they can... So here's the thing. This is the, loop, this is the crazy thing. So all pharmaceutical big companies, whatever, are, have no liability under the liability shield. You can't sue a pharmaceutical company once you take a vaccine. Or once you take a, any medicine, an FDA been, approved vaccine. Correct. But once I could, it's been FDA approved, so I've got Moderna. Since it's not FDA approved, I could sue them if my balls fall off. No, no, it's an, it's under the emergency no, use. My balls fell off. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Don't bear the lead. You can't sue. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's the emergency use vaccine. You can't sue them. Oh, because it's an emergency use. Right. Okay. 
So nice. Pfizer has two vaccines right now. One's the emergency use and one's the FDA. One's called by the BioNTech. BioNTech made the EU emergency use vaccine. So all right, let me. So so a, a company couldn't say that we have to take ivermectin because it's not approved for this purpose. Right. Is correct. This a good, so what is I'm this saying is comorbidity or whatever is it comorbidity comorbidity. Yes, the, the, comorbidity. The the, the, the the FDA approved vaccine. I can't talk to them. The FDA yeah. approved vaccine hasn't completed their trial, so therefore they're not underneath the liability shield for another 18 months. I be- so if you, you can't even get the FDA-approved vaccine. Pfizer ever said we don't have enough of those shots. I've been in the workforce for 28 years, and every job I've had has had a hoop you have to jump through. So that's what I don't understand. Like, it's a weird... Right. I'm it's not so talking weird. about. I'm actually not oh, talking about. Oh, you know what? All right. The, so here's here's one that's kind of very interesting. They they can get people. People can't get a job because they failed a marijuana test. But in like the majority of the U.S., it's legal. You can legally yeah. smoke pot. So let me just. I just want to say one thing. I'm not talking about the effective, the efficacy of the vaccine. I'm talking about the legality of what somebody mandates you to do for your job. And right now, but under can't a private emerge- company tell you to do whatever the fuck they want? If you don't drink orange juice every day, you can't work here. Can, I mean, the government a, can tell you not, that. Not under the, the emergency use you authorization that. vaccine. Abacus, you, you look, look like it. you're raising your hand. You got something to say. This is this is this is the most heated discussion we've had in a while. I'm okay with it. I'm I'm. I will preface this by saying I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a constitutional lawyer. I'm not a what? <laughs> representative. You've been lying all these years. Uh, no, yeah, but I'm just saying like it's. My understanding of the state in which we live, which is Virginia, being a right-to-work state, means that a company can fire you for any, any fucking reason, reason they yep, want. Yep. And if they specify that to continue to be here, to be a part of your benefit package of insurance, of our 401k, uh, to get all of those benefits for us to pay you, you have to comply to yeah. the things that we wish for you. Yep. You can, you know, they can okay, have specific- I've, I've never had an issue with a company saying it. I don't care if a company, because a company is a privately held organization, sure. and I feel like they can tell you whatever. That's where if you don't wear two left shoes every day, you can't work here. Fine. Yeah. So be Go, it. You'll find somewhere else to work that allows you to wear yeah. normal fucking shoes. <laughs> yeah, which I don't have a problem with, but like, I get more concerned when it becomes an overarching, like everyone has if to do If a federal X. government comes out and says every single American has to take this, but and they have, have an issue with it. They, 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 just, they just I know, did. but that goes, that goes back to my... Again, my libertarian sure beliefs. Just for federal employees, not yeah. for not for all the, 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 No, no, no. Any, yeah, le- any company over the, 100 employees. The Department of Labor okay. just pushed it. No, I think it's all federal employees. No, they're using the Department of Labor companies that have over 100 employees. Okay, now you, as citizen of Virginia, have the right to go work for a company that has 99 employees. Like yeah. that's the part that people don't fucking. Well, no, get. and that's yeah. and, that, yeah. and I, but I but respect that. Yeah, no one's, one's making you work anywhere. What I'm trying to say is they can't. It doesn't matter if you look it up. They can't mandate. An emergency use to lose your job. They can mandate an FDA approved drug, okay. which we and now that's why have. The right? moment, that's why the Try moment. I thought Pfizer was now FDA approved. Right. Try and get it. All go ask for the committee. The and all I do is get vaccines, dude. Like, there's no difference. There's a they a, a, a term, the name in which they're calling it, which is the same technology. It's the same studies. It's the same science that went right. Into but you it. know why they won't give it to you? Please tell me why because they won't they're give not it to underneath me. because <laughs> because what? because if they give it to you they're not that particular. Hold on, who can't FDA, get a vaccine? No, it's not that. <laughs> the FDA approved You're Pfizer shot won't give is you. not underneath. It doesn't it doesn't fall underneath the liability shield for the ph- pharmaceutical companies. So okay, the they still shot. have to finish their. Tr- they only did it for six months. They got to go two years. All right, but st- all right. So, so that means if I go get the FDA approved shot, I, I'm, I'm and living, something happens I'm to me, I can in, sue the pharmaceutical company. You, you guys are arguing in. In minutia, I'm saying if so now say the Pfizer vaccine is is available for everybody. Right. Everybody. There's 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 however however million people there are in the US Which I would like to point two out two times that is it is fully available. There are no <laughs> waiting times. Yeah. You could show up tomorrow and get a vaccine yep. literally anywhere you live. Well I think Co- I think Stu is, is literally arguing in the in I'm the gray about- area though of availability and I'm saying let's remove that from the equation. Right. And just say it's available everywhere. Right. Because it is. But you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Stu's yeah, yeah. argument is physically there's not enough to give everybody the FDA approved version. So say it exists everywhere. Then that brings it back to a, a realistic conversation. I'm just trying to, to set the bar where we don't have to deal with the fact that there's a supply shortage or some nonsense. Let's let's just talk in, in generalities. But people who don't want the shot aren't 
not getting the shot yeah. because of I, availability. They I don't fully get believe the shot. If, if somebody hasn't gotten a shot at this point in time in the United States, it's because they don't want to. Yeah, and that's fine. fine. Don't take the fucking shot. Wear a mask if you're around me, or don't come out. Those are your options. But they're that not going to give me a natural immunity card. No, See, still, still you're dealing in you're dealing you in gray areas, about? and 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 still, no, because there's more people that don't get it. And if they could come up with a way to test for a natural immunity card, fuck yeah, good with that. No one's no one's arguing that there there are certainly people a percentage of the population. Have they proved that you're immune? Once there's you there's have always there's no. no there's, there's always no. people I know though two who people won't. Who have yeah. gotten it twice. Yeah. yeah, no, but there's always going to be <laughs> outliers in the community who can't get AIDS, who can't get. Whatever you know what I mean. They like, got something yeah. in their cells that yeah, yeah, yeah. from. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's always going to yeah. be those outliers. We I all think know the guy the, who drinks twenty four beers and has six pack, and you're like, "What the fuck? Where's this guy?" There's yeah. always going to be those his outliers. Genetic makeup. So I, right. I think that's and and when they can come up with the test to prove that you have a natural immunity, then I think that should absolutely you should go count. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that get that count. card. Unfortunately, I what don't. What percentage is that though? I mean, that's going to be a super knows, small percentage. But what you know, there's always a percentage. Just like we were talking about beforehand, by by just for the first version of COVID-19, not the Delta variant, not the other variants that are coming along. But by the time everybody gets vaccinated and the people that are not getting it, they'll run through the people by June of next year. Yeah, but then there won't have any more other body. variants, so it doesn't matter. Right, this happens with every single virus. I know, but yeah. so <laughs> then you're going to need to constantly get up. Graded and updated, like the flu. Because this like is going to have to turn into some bullshit where I'm getting a booster every, every year. year. I've learned this. And very oh, yeah. And, I'm, and this is not a dig towards you. I, I don't know. I assume, uh, based on the conversation, I'm assuming that you are not vaccinated. The longer the science, the basic ass science that you learn in fucking middle school is the longer a virus sticks around, the more it mutates. The more it yes. mutates, the less effective. Oh, yeah. We've had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the part that we have these people talk about. It's like, oh, it's not that effective. I still got it. You know, I got a vaccine. And I got it. It was like, because it's still fucking around. I get that vaccines weren't widely available until March, well, that's, February, yeah. you know, whatever of this year. I get that. But the whole thing was, for the year prior, we were supposed to be social dis- distancing, yeah. and wearing masks, and physically distancing. Whichever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Still lives in the gray areas. I'm not even mad. I'm actually starting to like still. Hilarious. Right <laughs> well, I mean, is it? Is why is it social? It's physical it's distancing. Just literally the word that they use, dude. Right. No, yeah, because no, it man. means a lot more. You see, this is this is what I love <laughs> about. Why does that mean? I love about the way I love some people. I don't how understand they argue. that. They'll argue in a, in a minutia yeah. to tear down the overall point. I don't understand why. Well, no, no. I just I, I thought from the get go, I was hundred percent on board with everything with a two week curve, all that good stuff. Yeah. Two motherfucking weeks of staying home, not sitting at a state house protesting that I want to go to fucking Applebee's. Hold like, on, hold on. It what? worked. That two week shutdown worked. <laughs> I believe the curve was flattened, and now yeah. we're all good. In what yeah. place was it flattened? Yeah, so this is good. where I think well, everybody. I think know. this is where everybody goes off the rails is the fact that they assume someone who is talking from my point of view is an anti-vaxxer, and that's not the truth. No, because you have vaccines that you were given as a child that you had no choice in, and I understand that. All of us in this room have vaccines, to my knowledge, and I assume. All of us have a vaccine that we were given as a child to attend the public school in which we went to, right? You yeah, had no choice. And that becomes so why the greater are, good. Why is somebody against this one? And, and I know you're, you're saying that you're not anti vaccine. So tell me what it is. You're pro COVID? You're pro people dying? You're pro, like, your kids just going into school? I'm pro and choice not, and anti shaming. Who's shaming anybody? You? Dude, have not <laughs> seen. No, no, I'm not saying you. No, I'm saying, but you started with you. you. The first word was you. The <laughs> first <laughs> word was you. I'm just saying that. That's my, that's my favorite stew argument. You. <laughs> not saying you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, nobody questions anybody about their vaccine choice when they got it. I do. If I if I know you didn't get your vac- your initial vaccines as a kid, I'm like. But I think I'm that's a very interesting you. point. Is it, 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 what you just said? I'm fuck it. We're going to Abacus's name. What Lee just said very interesting because they do require us to have certain vaccines. Not certain, a lot. No, There's but you know, a, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Certain yeah. vaccines to to even like join the school system. So how this is different, I don't quite understand. But I still support like it's your choice. And I, I mean, don't, are you, uh, I know so, it doesn't make me a popular opinion. And again, I got the vaccine immediately. Hell, I protested for it. I like went I think out of I, my I, way again, to get again, it. Again, 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 it's just a, it's more so, and I, again, I'm not trying to politicize this at all. Well, then don't politicize it. Just talk. But I would say you're looking at a, if if you can't 
have a choice, which you do, but slowly that choice is being eroded away because eventually testing is not going to be free. But, but couldn't and they're going to force you to do something that you don't want to do. But for the greater, I guess I, I go back to like, if you don't want the vaccine, just, just wear the mask then. What do I, like, you're still, yeah, that's, but that's you're still helping. Like, I mean, so, isn't a mask just that as effective matter. as a vaccine? Right. As but, far as not spreading it? I don't, I don't know. I'm no, asking. No. I mean, you wear a mask and yes, you're going to eliminate stuff. But I mean, if you... <laughs> Vaccine is way more effective. Right, the vaccine is way more effective than masks because Dude, if you I'm can, the psycho in the gym with the vaccine and a mask on. Right, but I mean, you <laughs> I'm look the at crazy. It, you're weird. I mean, that's fine though because yeah, it's your but choice. don't it's your don't body. don't shit on me because I'm choosing to wear a mask and have the vaccine, and I won't shit on you, you know, for for doing what you think is for the greater good, which. You know, a mask my whole no thing vaccine. with the anti-vaxxers is, is they're like, I don't know what it is. I don't want to play my body. It's like you're smoking Marlboros, eating Doritos. I think you should Mountain be allowed Dew. to smoke all you like, want. <laughs> it's just you're never- putting shit in your body, so I don't understand the like. Again, it's back to the flat earth thing. Like the end all is what? The government gives you a vaccine and then. Oh, Stu, did you find why the flat earth thing is? Yeah, and it goes along more of like the lines of I get to be against what somebody accepts as a norm. So it's just very like contrarian rather yeah. than anything. It's else. not. Yeah. There's not like. You mean there's no real science behind the only, it? So no. on, there's no benefit to having a round. They, earth their biggest flatter. argument is the big. The biggest argument that they put out there for uh, a round Earth not being round is if you take a wine bottle and turn it sideways, the water's what? still flat. It doesn't curve down with the Earth. Well, that's a foot. <laughs> yeah, that's one <laughs> foot of one foot of water. <laughs> Millions of no, miles. I mean, that's thousands, what I'm saying. Once you look at this stuff, thousands like, of miles. It's. I guess it's, what I was looking for is like, what is the advantage of a round Earth? I should. I, I well, I have the, the meme time. on no, my phone. I'll send it to you guys. It's a level sitting on top of a tennis ball, and it's completely level. And it's like, yeah, the Earth's round. Like, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Because you can the, balance a level point. on a tennis ball. Objection! And- <laughs> hearsay! <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Science. Science is trash. <laughs> and science is the truth. <laughs> Dude, this is almost two hours. Oh, then cut this shit. We'll finish this. <laughs> yeah, we'll we, finish this discussion off the air. What are we doing? Doing much. two hours? I don't know. We I would love. I would time. love to say we'd split it up. No, but the second half would suck. <laughs> 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 I don't want to do that, Troy. I'm glad you called that out because I was literally just gonna start going to topics. Oh yeah. I'm like just. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna let's take this off the air. Yeah, definitely. Hey, we, thanks guys for tuning in. We could run back another podcast. I doubt it. Probably not. <laughs> okay, we're all ministers now. <laughs> oh, you got to sign can up. We, <laughs> can we take this back to that? But we all agree that we should have branches that allow religious exemptions for everybody if it profits us personally. Yeah, yes. absolutely. We we have to leave all morals aside because obviously we're not all going to agree on anything. Yeah, we're not all going to agree yeah. on who it doesn't hurt. That's so. the branch. That's the problem. Okay, no, no. The agreement is it can't hurt other people. The, and that's we've and already found a gray. Yeah, we've we already found a. <laughs> A gray area. <laughs> Father Brendan what is hurts, the one that's yeah, going to what hurts other people? be the deciding factor. What, that that what branch will people? decide, and we, as the top of the food chain, will argue amongst ourselves. And we'll never get there. No. <laughs> we'll think on it. We'll let you know. Yeah. But if there's enough money behind it, <laughs> your idea moves to the top of the pile. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. There's only two tenants. You can't hurt other people. And we'll write you a religious yeah. exemption. Mo money, more exemptions. And mo money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're all in agreement here yeah. that financially we are we're very fluid. We're made. <laughs> <laughs> let's just tax write off. Let's just set this up. We need a name. Something ITPH, Church of ITPH, whatever it may be. The House of Pallet. Why not synagogue? <laughs> <laughs> what Why about not? temple? Yeah. Why not? Temple, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good with all of these things. I'm not. I don't. I don't care. Temple you, Church. Temple Church sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Temple Church Mosque. Temple Combo Church. <laughs> like let's just let's let's covering all the bases. You know. Yeah. I think my guy's gonna look a lot like a Buddha. 
Because yeah. that's just like yeah, that's my branch. What you look like guy. with wings on the wall. And there's 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 yeah, there's, there's, angel wings. <laughs> there's a there's oh fuck yeah <laughs> yes the that's only, your guy. The only uh, difference is your picture is your guy. <laughs> yes, only I'm gonna I'm gonna change it a little. There's gonna be a bottle of bourbon in one hand, your and your a legs sack be, of money in the other. Your legs will be <laughs> our only two ideals. Criss-cross, yeah, that's right. Your legs will be crisscross applesauce. Because I gotta pee. No. Oh no! Because I'm sitting. I'm doing hey, a meditation. Well, you can't say Indian. Look, I'm. I, you, you're starting to feel me. I yeah. like this. All right. So we are now establishing a church. Please send your donations to Venmo at at Inside the Pound House. That's the one. We will take it. If you have ideas for the church, please do send them in to Inside the Pallet House at Gmail dot com. We would love to hear it. We will discuss or your branch at Inside the Pallet House on Venmo. Send them that way. We'll pay more attention to them that way. Oh, it's fact. <laughs> yeah, because that's part of what we're in here yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, don't get it twisted. Yeah. This is a tax exemption and profit. Thing. Yeah, we're trying to make a couple of ducats. If you want to head over to our Facebook page, you can do so, or you can always find us on uh, Twitter and Instagram at itph.com. MySpace. Whatever. I, I fucked it all up. I'm done. <laughs> I am done. I can't believe you didn't realize we're two hours already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Insane. If you haven't had a chance to head over to Nectar Sunglasses, drop Bowflex. Yeah. In the coupon code, you'll get 20% off. And if you need a mortgage, I know it's a complicated thing, but head over to Screen Door Mortgage. Jimmy will take care of you. Heard from Jimmy this week. He's doing pretty good. He's doing he's doing well, and Kill apparently uh, people are ho- hollering from here, which I appreciate. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. Maybe he'll upgrade from Screen Door like an actual door, like wood core or like a metal Fuck door. That. <laughs> Have you seen door. the prices of wood? <laughs> Peace out. That's a pretty good podcast, don't you think?